Oh, friends, friends, number one, thank you for joining Zona Life. I got my guy, longtime friend, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro, Clark Wendelint, Ronnie Moore. Welcome to Zona Live, presented by Trocar Hooks. And here's the thing, gang. We are in heaven, and we'll talk about it soon. This happened a few minutes ago. It's going to happen. <laughs> Ooh, they'll bite it. Yes. I mean, down is crusher. <laughs> so what should we do? I don't know what to do. <laughs> You're watching Zona Live. Presented by Trocar. Absolutely the world's sharpest fish hooks. Oh, friends. Friends that have joined us today on Bassmaster.com, Zona Live, presented by Trocar Hooks. My friend, Clark Wendelin. Clark, n number, real quick, how long have we planned this? Th this has been 14, 15 years in the making. You and I have talked about this <laughs> at nauseum, try to get out here and fish. We were going to go, uh, to, uh, no joke, and a lot of our buddies are watching this from Lake St. Clair. We were going to go to Lake St. Clair today, uh, but the problem is... It's where the Angler of the Year tournament's at, so off limits. So why not? We had uh, we we aired an episode of Zona uh, Zona's Awesome Fishing Show last year on the Outdoor Channel on a lake in East Arkansas. It's a private lake. We usually do public lakes on Zona Live. In the last couple of years, we've done a few private ones. But I had a lot of people say, "Man, if you could do a live there, if you could do a live there." Clark, you've been here for 30 minutes. What have you seen? This is the finest fishing place I've ever seen. I pulled up to the dock and videoed brim like unbelievable. And below the brim were giants cruising everywhere. It could be some of the most explosive strikes. We've Ronnie Moore! Ronnie Moore, dial us in, social media guru. Talk about it, friend. Make sure you guys send in your questions today for Clark Zona. Even if we don't choose your question to answer on live, you'll still be entered to win. Use the hashtag Zona Live, hashtag sweepstakes uh, on Twitter and ask your questions. Find the Facebook post on Bassmaster's Facebook page as well as Mark Zona's Awesome Fishing Show page. Send your questions in, in that way. You'll be uh, entered to win 10 assortment uh, packs of trocar hooks, some gear, clothing. Uh, there'll be plenty of hooks given out as well. And then a uh, TH Marine Conservation Coal System, right, Z? I got one. I got one. I didn't take one. I got one. I got one. But it's going to happen on a frog. Okay, so here's the deal, friends. Here's the deal. When, when we fished this place last year, when we fished this place last year, my buddy Steve Bowman, and Gerald Jones, got us in here. Nice little fish right there. Um, and basically, we were when we fished here last year. We were a week, we were a week earlier, and it was cold. It was cold, cold, cold. And I thought to myself. Gosh, if we can come here and 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 do a you know a frog show where they're up snooping around, and what we saw a half hour ago, it uh, it's gonna happen. I mean, it is gonna happen. He just kind of snooped it. He did. He just, I had one slurp under it right after that. Did you? Yeah, but he didn't. He didn't get it. That was the first cast. First cast right? is is good. First cast. Hey. First cast is good. They, they say first cast is like bad luck. No, first no. cast is good. No, no, no. And and really, for anybody that's that's tuned in with us right now, just north of here, I'd been up at around Table Rock and places like that. They're just starting to spawn up that way. But here it almost looks like a lot of them are long done. Ooh, how about that wind? Oh, it's a little bit chilly. Right there. Look at that one I just jumped right there, Wes. Right there, just jumped one. Don't go, he didn't come out of that debris. I'm going to keep her going. Go it. Cover some water. Yep.
Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. No, that's critical. No. It was fine there. Okay. Oh my gosh, just barely, barely sucked it under. So, hey, let's talk about conditions just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, yesterday was like a, like rained like, like a foot. Yeah. I mean, we don't know how much. There was so much uh, water running coming up towards here. And then we get here today, it's calm and bluebird. I mean, what's, what are the thoughts on calm and bluebird? That it's generally, post front is the worst with a, I mean, it's a north, northeast wind. Generally, the worst you could have, except for on a place like this. What's we, we talked about it coming here today. When you, when you, when you're fishing a place like this, that doesn't receive crazy amounts of pressure, you think, well, heck, they're going to bite and they're going to bite and bite. But what's been funny is this morning, for all my frog fishing friends that are watching this, is. A lot of them that have bit this have just great big ones. Just a little just, slurp. Just little slurp, and that'll get more violent and aggressive as the day goes. Look, it's fixing to happen in here. Is it good here, Ronnie? Okay. Oh, there's a big one. There's a big one. Another big one. Look at that. It's in a, it's in a bed. See him? Yeah, so. And what's funny is you'll go along and not catch. God, this the clarity of this water is just phenomenal. Ronnie, just keep me posted on it. I'll, I'll get us wherever we need to be. Those are big ones on that point. <laughs> this is about the longest you'll go in this place without catching a. And what's funny is last year when we taped here, the fish, the fish have gotten probably about two pounds, pound and a half to two and a half pounds bigger just in a year. Wow. get us on the back side where you can hit those sticks right there. You already threw under the tree? I'm going to throw under it. it the, the, Like the anxiety of what, what's going to happen to that poor little popping perch. We had probably, we had a half dozen bites. There's a big one right there, right there, right there, right there. I see. Two of them, two of them, two of them. Oh, let's just throw them in front of them. Yep. Okay. Two oh, gosh. Gosh. oh my gosh. <laughs> he just erupted on it. Oh soon my gosh. As soon as it hit the water. Oh. Oh, did you see yes, him? Yeah, yeah. Here. Oh, 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 that was phenomenal. <laughs> That was so awesome. That was, that was the, like three or four of them right there. And they all just like coming up there in slow motion. God. That was phenomenal. That was so cool. Look at that. Did you see how he came up? <laughs> oh my. That's what I said. The anxiety of waiting. Oh, that is awesome. Man, what a fish. Now, Clark hosts Fishing and Hunting Texas. Uh, does a lot with Americana Outdoors. And he made a comment, like he has fished a ton of public lakes, private lakes, 
just look at the, is that him? Hold on. Oh, hold, hold. he might bite again. <laughs> That's not the same fish, is it? Don't, don't tell me. That was amazing. That was amazing. I mean, there was like four of them cruising along. You thought there was two yes. at first. Yes. And then, God, that's awesome. And that's what we saw last year when we were here, was you kind of go along and then you just see wolf packs, like pods like that, of great big ones. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh gosh, doggy. That was a pretty good one there. Yeah, that was a good one. On the bank, right on the bank. But I mean, Z, how many times do bass really feed in wolf packs? I think it happens like all the time. I mean, we, we you know, wolf packs have gotten famous on, you know, bluegill beds right, and whatnot, right, right. but I think they're wolf packing a lot. Hunting. Hunting in big groups. All my buddies that are, that are, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Stops my heart. Do it again. Do it again. I saw that. I saw it running. You throw in there. Go ahead. No, 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 no. I'll come back with the worm. You get him. That's gonna be magic right there. I didn't take off. That did not. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a good one. <laughs> Look at that one. Holy oh, that's cow. Awesome. The frog bite was still funner. I got to continue that. <laughs> funner. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. That's a good one. <laughs> that is such a great lesson. That fish blew up on Clark's frog three times. Look how that fish is. And what's funny is they they look like northerns. They don't look like Florida strains. Is go ahead, little buddy. Look at him. Woo! One thing we saw when we were here last night, cameraman Wes Miller starting to throw was throwing the big cutter worm like we did last year when we were here with a little bitty bullet weight. I can't even breathe, man. Little bitty bullet weight. And I got a big five aught, big five aught Pro V trocar worm hook. We're gonna give one of you a pile of these. We're gonna give a lot of you a pile of these hooks. All right. I, I can't handle that frog thing, man, right now. The, the best part is that we said how softly they're hitting the frog. Goosh! <laughs> That's amazing to watch them come up like that when there's four of them. That's funny if we can just see them. Hey, uh -huh. I mean, if we if we only if we only were going to catch them like sight fishing today, yeah, that would just be terrible, wouldn't it? <laughs> God, you just point one out. So we were we were at Winya Bay. We we're at Winya Bay, and we were talking about doing this live. And I said to Clark, I asked Mr. P, the owner of the, the land around here, I said, is there any chance we could, we can come back? Sure, sure, come back and have a good time. And he, he said, I think they've grown. <laughs> <laughs> and Clark said he was sitting in the, in the weigh-in line and he said, man, I'd really like to go somewhere we can catch them. I said, I think I got the place. <laughs> I think I got the place. I think you have the place, that's for sure. Wow. Yeah, wow. But we'll get we'll get some shots on some those are fives. We'll get some shots on some some six to eights, I think. Alright, I'll have the comeback bait ready. The comeback bait is obviously going to be a, a deal. Wind's blowing today. 
might go on the windy end a little bit. Gosh, little bite. Little bite. What was that on? Popping frog. That's popping perch. Look at that. Wow. Wow. I'm throwing a popping perch. He's got a pad perch. This is a little bit quieter. You want to sit there and say that that's a pre-spawner? I think it's just eating. It's just fat. Oh my gosh. Goosh! <laughs> hey, that's all. They're awesome. starting to get a little more aggro- Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm serious. I'm gonna put the poles down. Listen. Yep, yep. That giving each other five, that, ain't, that just didn't work out all that great, did it? God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> look how fat and deformed this bass is right here. God. Wow. Look at that. That's amazing. I looked over at Zona right there, give him five, you know, Goosh. say, hey man. Kaboom. I mean, that's awesome. It doesn't get any better than that right there. So he was standing in the, in the weigh-in line at Winya, and he goes, man, I want to go somewhere where we can really catch him. And I went, got you, bro. <laughs> got you. <laughs> yeah, you had that one under control. What a bite. God, and, and we're kind of just starting out. We're, uh, we're, we're, in a good part of the, we're in a good part of the lake, but there's some things going down. Wesley, cameraman Wesley knows on that far end, it's going to get ugly. It's going to get better. It's gonna get. Con <gasps> Come back, babe. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> oh God! Now hold on. It didn't come back time yet. You know he's right there. He's right underneath it. All right, come back. It's gonna be a little bitter, I hate to say it, but. I just wanna see the line. <laughs> oh, he's shy. Now, I think that was a big fish. They're hitting it a lot more aggressive than I. That one was kind of mealy, but there was. You just feel like a bowling ball is going to get dropped in the water. That's a good way to put it. So, I mean, the deal was is you couldn't even sleep last night. Not at all. I mean, you literally all. up all night just because, I mean, like a little kid. Clark went is big in Dallas Stars, and he was watching a hockey game, and I went to bed at like 8.45. I said, man, I'm going to get, ooh. <laughs> Did you see that, bro? That was awesome. That was amazing. And I woke up at 2.30 in the morning knowing we were coming here. Little one. Wow. Little three and a half. Easy, buddy. Okay. So I got a striking popping perch. You ready? I got a little kind of a bluegill color. Actually, I think it's called green pumpkin gill, right? I got 50 pound braided cigar line. And a big frog rod, but the main thing on on whenever whenever you're whenever you're frogging, main thing, 
high speed reel. High speed reel, because when you when you bust one way out there, you need to move line quick to. My heart, my heart's out of control right now. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. But what's funny is when we, some of our viewers that asked us to do a live here got to see the Hackney show. Some didn't, but we were earlier and it was, it was, the water was a lot colder. So you had to catch them on bladed jigs, bladed jigs, plastic worms, stuff like that. And I thought literally, I told Clark we were having coffee this morning. We were watching Sports Center, And I said, I said, I, the reason I couldn't sleep I, I've thought about this place for 364 days, and, and, and here's the thing: look, we don't we don't do a lot of stuff on private lakes. We don't we don't, just don't have the opportunity. A lot of our stuff's shot on on public lakes, but during a during a live, you have to kind of make hay quickly. And and I've thought for 365 six, 364 days, gosh, if we could just do a zone alive on this lake. All right, let's... Oh, hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Gosh, what a bite, Bubba. Oh, I had one, too, at the same time. I day. was going to say, maybe we should pick the poles up. Oh, we come off. Okay. That's the second time I've just looked over at you and all of a sudden, kaboom. That's what he stepped out of the bottom. That's, what he, that's, that's three bites that's happened that way. They're hitting it with vengeance. We are gonna get crushed in that corner. Should I move on a little bit? Yeah, maybe. Okay. So Ronnie, anybody's qualified for prizes today that asks a question, right? Is that, is that the rules? Yes. You got it. <laughs> Every single person that sends in a question to, uh, using hashtag Zone Alive, hashtag sweepstakes, entered to win. Like you said, you had an assortment, 10 packs at minimum of uh, trocar hooks. Yes. Probably the ones used in today's show for sure. And then also uh, some apparel, I believe, and then also some TH Marine goodies as well. Beautiful. Facebook, Twitter. Hey. <laughs> Going. Just Hold up real quick, Ron. <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it. I gotta get out of your, your way of your way of business. I can't tell you how many of those I mean we've already had four of about the eight bites that bit it when you like, just let it be for a minute. You just feel like lightning's gonna strike any. Now, there's one right behind mine right now. The whole water's just kind of lifting up all around it. There, oh no, I thought I saw him. Yeah, we can come back through here later. Okay. It's hard. It's hard not to jerk when one, like, right. like a big old, Ooh. I mean, good grief. There's a couple big spawners where, Ronnie, just kind of stay tight with me if possible. Are we good on coverage, right, Sal, right here? So. Okay. This little corner is naughty, naughty. But you know what, in all honesty, who, this time of year, who doesn't just wanna see some 
blow-ups on a, on a frog. Yeah, everybody's tired I mean, of winter. Come I mean, this on. is the time of year to catch them right here. Oi! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> that one's so great! <laughs> It's so great. Look at how that fish is built. Every one of them, just so fat. I mean, they're like northern bass, I think. I mean, you see northern bass being really short like this, but really thick. And I know they're not. I know they're probably Florida strain because they get the biggest, but man, they're chunks. Hey, Clark, that was a really, really good bite. <laughs> really good. Like... Are you just going to let me cast up here again? Do it. Do it. You are the guest, my friend. You know, I really appreciate that. We have waited two decades for this. Yeah, we're, and we're going to... I did. I, I thought it was going to be a smallmouth gig. No, listen, we'll do smallmouth next time. No, hold on. Hold on. I might want to come back here again. <laughs> so you may you may just need to kind of include me next time. I, I got you. it. Oh, I see one. I see one. Do I you really? One. I see one. He's just in front of your bait. Come come about eight feet. He's I see him. I see him. He, he's going to the right, though. To the right? Yeah. Oh, he's right. He's right here. Pretty good one. Yeah, I thought it was. Get that bed right there. Maybe that's where I caught that one. Yeah, we want to be real stealthy right there. Oh my gosh, what a first hour. <laughs> is that what it is, 29 minutes? Can we do a nine-hour zone alive today? Yeah, it is. We give away like a hundred prizes. And we never leave. Yeah. That it, it is just so perfect and fun. Oh, frogging. All right, let's talk pad perch versus popping perch. You, you know, I mean, we like them both. Mm -hmm. I've thrown the popping perch a lot more. Pad perch just came out not long ago. I threw the uh, last year, we did a show on the pad perch, and I, we were talking about last night. It's a little bit, well, quieter for one, but a lot more subtle. But I'll tell you what's interesting about both of these. This is not a stupid sales pitch. Trim the legs, trim this side shorter, blah, blah, blah. And it'll make it walk better. Both of these baits, both of these baits, one of the things that's amazing to me is when you throw it out, you literally do not need to trim anything to make it, to make it walk. It, uh, gosh, I can't believe I didn't catch one out there. Yeah. I think when we get closer to these trees, okay. Lines, okay. Out a yep. Than yep. It. Yep. It Not a problem. We're going to have to make bomb casts in this corner, though. Okay. We can do that. Just let me know throughout. Of course he is. Gosh, if you could hit that. Look at look at that. Look at those buck rubs on that tree right there. That's what it is. We got to stay away from the store. Look, 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 look. What's that? That's my bait. bait. <laughs> is this Wes's first day on the on the job? <laughs> I didn't know he's in the tree. Oh my gosh. Looking good now. Looking good? I'll just stay away from the tree line, all right, buddy? Okay.
They looking. like where it just doesn't it, where it's not, like it has those it's patchier right there yeah. on that little that little, little, little bit slot. cleaner. Yeah. That's all right. I can deal with a cast. That was phenomenal. Look at that. Did you see how we got came? a lot of stuff to fish on that windy end? But I'm going to keep us up here. I didn't take them. That did not. Oh, oh my gosh. Biggin. Hey, yeah. Hold back. They're starting to get a little more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that way, uh, and it was a solid 30 minutes, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Did y'all see that? Did you see it on your camera? Yeah, Could you really? They replayed it. Wow. That was pretty, that was cool. That was cool. Hey, that, that's gonna happen again. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is that gonna happen so again. Great. So just stay stay out this this range, Wes, right? Okay. 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 Not a problem. I guess we'll just make our way. Man, there are beds everywhere out here. Mm, that may be you right there. You might as well just jerk. It it probably and that's good, you know. That's a that's good. You know, one of the things for for if you're for froggers or or guys wanting to really get into this, one of the best times of the year to do this is you kind of watch your own region, but it's when, oh my gosh. Gosh, that looks like a big one. I mean, it came up like a killer whale. Yeah, that's a good one. Look at that, oh my gosh. Is, is gen a lot of times when they, when they get done spawning, when they get done spawning and they're starting to guard fry and they're starting to, you know, when they're done spawning and bluegills generally start, yay, bluegills generally start spawning right after bass is that's one of the best times where you get the most violent strikes on a frog, whether it's a popping perch, a pad perch, or a sexy frog. <laughs> Some of your most violent strikes you'll get on that bait is like two weeks after bass get done spawning is when you know they'll really 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 start to to get this bait oh my God, that poor little guy's gonna get retired already well i mean look at mine it look doesn't even right. hardly no. have a oh, tail there's a pack, there's a pack. Wolf no, pack. no 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 that oh i see him right here <laughs> Seriously, yeah, you cheater. Did you buy it? There's a bunch right here, Clark. Look at them all. See? Yeah. I'm going to go. This is, this is silence to violence. It's almost like flipping where you're like, oh, this is so boring and blah, 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 blah. And then it just boosh. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a little one. The absolute best lake in the country. It's the best lake in the country. It's by far the best we know of anyway. Oh, God, look at that guy. They're so thick and fat. That's so awesome. wonder if there'll be one on that hump right there. I uh, think there might be. You know, one of the things that, that one of the, Clark and I were talking about this, is I grew up in Chicago. I grew up in Chicago, fishing farm, ponds, golf course, anywhere I could get. And, and it's one of the, like, one of my true, still to this day, true hobbies is finding places that, you know, you, you're kind of left alone and but what was interesting is all the private places that I've been and they've all been special in a in a weird way you know you look at like a gross savant or like a la perla 
you know, some of the, the, the real famed places. Um, I think one of the coolest things that I've been able to see doing this is how different the environment is in all, you know, from Gros Savan, where you look like you're in the Louisiana, well, you are in the Louisiana Delta, um, to a place like La Perla that's, you know, right on the border of Mexico. But what's weird about, what's really odd about this lake, and Clark said it when he came in last night, in East Arkansas, especially with the rains like that have gone on around here the last month, the last month is is every single body of water around Little Rock is blown out, like literally blown out. Mud and dirt, like where we're just staying like three miles down the road, we're right, right on the bank of a little river and it's just complete, it's chocolate milk. And that's what's amazing about this body of water. This is gin clear, like gin clear water. Like the prettiest water we've ever seen. Green, awesome. I'm just gonna keep us moving too. So wet west, I'll stay away from that bank. You can get a little closer to it. I'm okay. Not, uh, I'll stay a little closer, it's okay. <laughs> I really think it is. I mean, you ask for forgiveness, not permission. <laughs> it's like there's a little slot right there yes. on the bank. Yeah, absolutely. And there's a lot of holes in this grass. A lot of holes. But what's it? What you're talking about? I'm all over the map right now. I mean, I am all over the map. Well, yeah. it's understandable. <laughs> Uh-oh, a lot of movement, a lot of movement. There is a lot, lot of movement. movement. We got outer beds here too, Clark. Look, look, look. Yes, man. About this length out, Wesley? I think so. Okay. This was the corner we caught him in. Yeah. You take bank, I'll take all, a little out a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting it. I'm, get, I'm remembering the vibe now. You feeling it? Yeah. I'm just going till one blast. Yeah, it's gonna, it ain't going to be long. Right. Bullfrogs just croaking away over here. Another big bed out. They're done, done. Yeah, I think so. Like done. They have done their deal. Ready on this one, Wes. Wes. Ready? You think yeah. you might catch one there? Hey Z? Yo! I know it seems like an eternity, but it's only been like 35 minutes. You guys want to <laughs> do the first question and answer Let's a couple. Let's do it, of Ron. So the the first couple ones are going to be from your Facebook page, the Zona's Awesome Fishing Show page. Okay. Brian Neese, this is kind of for both of y'all. Okay. Who's your starting five for Texas Fest next Woo week? Hoo -hoo -hoo. Starting five for Texas Fest. I'm going to give it to Clark. Go ahead, Clark. I'd say Keith Combs probably be a pretty good choice. Maybe Luke Palmer. Um, Stetson, Stetson caught him back at four. Uh -oh. Yeah, that looks like a good one. My gosh, what a bite. We got half a hey, question. There's a high spot awesome. right there. Yeah, see it? That was amazing. <laughs> really was. That was amazing. Brad Watley and Lee Livingston. still answering. <laughs> hey, I got five in. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Brad Watley. He's fishing good right now. Stetson, that's pretty obvious, Troy. I thought I did pretty good on that five. Solid. Solid, solid five. C uh, Combs is the obvious. I mean, yeah. Combs is, I taped a, oh my gosh. <laughs> I taped a uh, Zona show with Combs there once in May, and it was all I needed to see about what, what, what he knows there. I'm going to tell you one. I'm going to throw you one right now. John Cruz is going to catch him in that tournament. John Cruz got really good history there and, and, and big ones. Um, we got another question. Yeah, go ahead. Bladed jig, spinnerbait, swim jig. What makes you pick them up? This one's from uh, Will Christie. The best times and places that you're going to pick one over the other because they all kind of... Clark, go ahead. Well, they're, I mean, they're all baits that are in the same class. And so, um, you know, what you do with that is, is it's a lot of it's just trial and error. Um, you know, and it, and it kind of depends a little bit on water color uh, and how thick the cover is, what bait you can get through it the uh, best. But typically... What? But <laughs> so great. Oh, that's frustrating. <laughs> but typically, I'd have all three rigged in every situation. So it wouldn't be like I just had one and I was going to throw it. I, I'd have all three rigged and, you know. What? Wait a minute. Oh, he came off. Dang, coming. <laughs> that's frustrating. You know what's, what's interesting? That, that's an interesting question, Ronnie is what I've seen a lot of times is lack of wind and real clear water, lack of wind and real clear water, a swim jig sh really shines, really shines. You get a little bit of watercolor and a little bit of wind, that bladed jig is, is, is hard to beat. Um, look out, I am a hot mess. No. That was a good bite. There. Was it? I'm backing up. Was it a good one? No, it was a good one, yeah. What kind of question is that? <laughs> but, and, and, and another thing, I, I'll, I'll be, you know, that, that's a good question, actually. The other thing is, to me, a swim jig is a bite getter. A swim jig gets bites. You start, oh, what a bite. Get him, get him, he's on that bed. Oh my, Wes, get ready for this. Oh, that was the best, that was he the best. It. He missed it, he totally missed it That again. was the best in the history of bass fishing. He's still under it. Yeah. Oh, he just slapped it up in the air. Oh, oh gosh! Oh, no. <laughs> don't, don't it. <laughs> dude, dude. Is there a boat U.S. train wreck of the week? That was, that, that was it. That was phenomenal. <laughs> that was it. Real was quick, like, real was quick. Too while, while you're, I gotta put the power poles down. Hey, no, I, before you do anything, yeah. I, I need a frog. I, I, I'm, I need one too. Look at my frog right now. <laughs> Look at that. Real quick, get that. Get that. I'm gonna send that to a viewer. I'm gonna send that to a viewer. Look at him. He's got one finger. He's got one leg. Oh my gosh. Hey, where's our frog? Like, watch I mean, this. Slow play on this yeah, right watch this. You ready? We're not gonna run. Oh, they're in the truck. No. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. No, they're not. Okay, bud. We got us a frog party going on in here. Here, I need, uh, a, what, I need what, a pad part. What color would you like? I don't care. Just give me one. Um, you want a white one? No. How about that one? Maybe I did care. Oh, yeah. yeah. No? Okay. That one? Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. One little thing. One little thing. I think I can retrieve my frog. I, we have not been able to answer one question correctly. No, that, that's been have, fine. It's just been a little longer. They got to hang with it. Yeah, uh, it's, it's not going to be quick. One little thing is just bend your hooks out a degree, where you just bend it, beep. 
And for any starter on frogs, don't look at this poor. I'm gonna send that to somebody. Look at that poor thing. Young Ronnie, I might give that to you. Oh. Yeah, woo. Um, always make sure you use braid. Just always, woo, woo. Always, always use braid. While Clark's tying up, we had a, a question for him specifically from Charlie Haviland. He said, Clark, a lot of electronics, a lot of new technology, uh, a lot of technology, a lot of new electronics in the industry. When those don't produce for you, you know, when you're not looking at them on a graph or whatever, what's your go-to bait? Your old school, maybe if you just turned your graphs off and went fishing for the day, what would you, oh. Hey, oh. get my bait. I mean, that's a good one, dude. It is a good one. That is a good one. Wow, look at that bass. God, look how fat that thing is. Look wow. at how just like a humpback. It's my bait, this mine? I think I caught the male. Oh, maybe I'll catch the female. Go to bait anytime. Oh, he's right under you. No, I know. I'm giving him a chance to think about it for a minute. <laughs> I know. That's a good question. Um, oh my lord, Carl Don't Chuck. Yeah, I, I like a jig, and, and but there's so many situations you can fish a jig. Do you want a swam jig? Do you want a jig that goes to the bottom? Or are you going to flip a jig? Um, for me, it'd probably be a vibrating jig or a swim jig. Yeah, something that I can move fast, um, you know, or a square bill like a KVD 1.5. Um, I, I just like power fishing. I like fishing fast. And so if I had only one bait and we weren't going to play electronics, we weren't going to use electronics at all, that's probably what I'd do. Wow, what a morning. I'm not going to lie, even though you broke that fish off, that was phenomenal. God, it came up and just, right. it was playing volleyball with it. <laughs> Is he by the last one, the last one of the first hour? Scott Stoltz. Hey, Scott. Asked you, what's the most versatile bait under, you know, different conditions when the bass are feeding on bluegill and perch? The Honestly? Boat, uh, the frog, I mean, we see him uh, as now, honestly, but. to me, a swim jig. Swim jig? Yeah, so and all, yeah, all around, you know, but that's, a, I look at it from a northern perspective, our fish are way different than southern fish. Our fish live their lifetime eating crushing bluegill, just crushing bluegill. Um, and to me, a swim jig, you know, it works in cold water, war like we catch them up north. I've talked to you about this. We catch them up north on a swim jig in 38 to 41 degree water. In fact, that's when you catch some of your biggest, but the only thing we're making it look like is a bluegill. I'm a hot mess right now. I should not have started coffee at 4.15. No. Five hour injury at 5.15. The even worse idea, young Ronnie. Okay, I'm gonna get where we can make a couple. Wes, if I get bad, I'm gonna try to get in this corner. But if, if coverage gets bad, just let me know. Oop. But give us 10 minutes before you let us know. Did you? <laughs> I've, I've actually got some fan questions for me asking how Wes, Tom, and myself can watch and, and not. Well, <laughs> I gotta thank Steve Bowman and Gerald Jones and Mr. P. Mr. P knows who, it, th this is, and, and really, I, we, don't, we don't get to fish many private deals. No, hold on, we never get to fish never. anything like this. This is like the best we've ever seen, ever, um, hey, ever. And, and here's the thing, it, it's gonna get more insane it, when we get in some of that wind down that way. Like, it's gonna go nuts. Look at the size of some of those beds. You see them, Wes? Look at that bass, hi there.
Yeah, there's one right under. Yeah. There's there's a bunch of fish on it. There's one right there. Wow. Yes, sir. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Well, I mean, when you can just see them sitting there, they, it's best just to throw down there and... Wow, that's a good one. It is a good one. God. I threw down there, I saw the fish. I don't know if it was on a bed or just on a sand spot, but he just ran over there as fast as he could and just bit it. I thought he was running away from it. I'll pick up on it. Oh, that's a good one. That's the thickest, baddest looking fish I've ever seen. Isn't it? God. Clark, Clark got to the, the cabin we're staying in. Clark got to the cabin and I couldn't even talk last night. Like I was. No, no, hold on. Tell the truth. What you did was, is you tried to tell me we had a muddy mess on our hands that we were going to have run. I mean, we weren't going to be able to catch anything. Y'all let that go for about five, 10 minutes, but. But then you just couldn't hold it anymore. You couldn't contain yourself. You said, you know, it might be okay. <laughs> we might, we might be all right. Oh, look at that. Hey, I'm just a helpless little popping purr. <laughs> What's going on over here? Oh, is that some lily pad stalks? Listen, if, if, you, if you see another bed or something, <laughs> just let me know. <laughs> You know, what's funny is, is Wes Miller, cameraman Wes in the back, Mike McKinnis came down and Wes even said, you know, Wes has, Wes has been everywhere, everywhere. And said he's never, ever, ever, ever seen a place like this, ever. Ronnie, I'm sorry. We've been we've been we've been slowed up on questions every 30 seconds. Nah, that was a good four question burst. <laughs> right. Pop, flare, and sizzle, Ronnie. There's a bed right there. It was a good four question burst. Right there. We'll have some more for sure. Ooh, and remember, we're mm -hmm. sitting there. Yeah. Is that a fit? You don't have to get it answered on live to be yeah, entered to win. There's a bed right there. Yeah, see it. It's just hard not to want to just throw a I know. pop and perch on every one of them and just take what you get. Ready, Wes? I like it. Hey. I like it. This is so the best time of year to fish right now. The best There's time dudes on St. Clair right now catching a hundred a day. There's a fish spawn in every five feet on places like Table Rock. Hey. There's just so many baits you can throw yes. this time of year. I mean, it, it's, you know, in the, in the pre-spawn in the winter, you're, you're dealing with three or four baits you can throw. Now, man, it's like opened up and you can throw just about anything you want to throw. Top water, frog. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come on. Oh my gosh. It's so wrong. That's awesome. That is so wrong. That is so... Those bites are with complete vengeance. Look at how perfect that fish is, man. Look how we got, look how we got, got the bait. They got it good. <laughs> oh, 
Incredible. Awesome how deep that bait is. Incredible. Look how thick that fish is. That's so fun. Incredible. Wow. This has been an exhausting first hour of Zona Live. <laughs> really I'm not kidding. Hold on just a second. We might need to pace ourselves. A uh, yeah, we got a. <laughs> we got three more hours. Gosh, what a bite! I mean, it's like it's like. <laughs> I actually had to kind of check that one because I was, you know, yeah. that big blow up. You're just not sure they get it, and so. Man, I caught a lot of them out in this stuff. Like that high spot. Yee, 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 yee. That's one of the things that they've done. Where? Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi there. They're starting to hit it with a lot more vengeance. Yeah, it's a lot harder bites. When we first got here this morning, <laughs> yeah, it was like a little, little slurps. Wait till one of them seven to eights comes up and. out in the middle or stay stay yeah. right in the bank yeah, well, would we? little guy yeah smallest one we've seen I just took him for a little ride and moved on You know, one of the things I will say, what Clark was talking about before, what I have seen with a popping perch over a pad perch, and I throw both of them a lot. Last year, we, we got a lot of shows and content done with that pad perch. That pad perch seems to get a lot more bites. It gets more bites, but, but one of the things I, I I have both of them tied on at all times when I'm doing this. That popping perch catch, catches great biggins. Doesn't matter where you're at. You talk to dudes like Todd Castledine and that live with that thing. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, seriously. You had to, you had to like. Gosh. <laughs> that was phenomenal. That was phenomenal. Had you seen that fish? I just saw the bed. I just saw the bed. Had you thrown your, your uh... I didn't. Okay. That was one of the funnest. I don't even know what that, that's a word. That was the most fun first hour zone alive in the history of man. I love you, bud. <laughs> it was the best ever. I love you, bud. <laughs> that's we'll be the best one I've been on. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> Yes, yeah. Here. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. That was phenomenal. That was phenomenal. That was so cool. <laughs> yeah. Did you see how he came up? Gosh. I didn't take That did not take Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. That's all They're right. starting to get a little more aggro. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> wow! Oi! <laughs> oh my gosh! Dude, that one's so great! Uh, uh, look at how that fish is built! <laughs> no, you didn't. Well, I mean, when you can just see him sitting there, they. Yeah. Look wow. at how they're just like a humpback. 
Arizona Live is brought to you by Ram. Dialogue. Mercury. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela. And by Strike King. When your hands are busy, your mind gets right. When your hands are busy, you can't point fingers and complain that life isn't fair. When your hands are busy, you're serving your family, your friends, and your community. When your hands are busy, you show everyone what you're capable of. The all-new Ram 1500, Motor Trend's 2019 Truck of the Year. At Mercury, there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either. Unlimited adrenaline. Unlimited fun. Unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. Introducing the all-new V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. For the love of mud, gravel, and trail dust. For the love of farm roads, dirt roads, and no roads. For the love of hunting, fishing, and working the land. For the love of conservation, preservation, and restoration. Introducing Tracker Off-Road Vehicles, designed and built on American soil for kicking up American soil. Tracker Off-Road, built for love of country. Pick up the Daiwa Tatula LT Spinning Reel. For its incredible toughness, yes. For its aircraft great gears and high speed retrieve, sure. But seriously, pick it up and feel just how light it is. And the Daiwa Tatula SV Baitcast Reels, multiple gear ratios, and the SV Spool will show you what long controlled You're casting right really now. is. Match them up with Tatula Elite Rods and you'll hold perfection in your hands. Blue Water by TH Marine. Offering LED lighting solutions for your boat, trailer, truck, ATV, and so much more. Engineered and built to be rugged with waterproof and submersible options. Designed for easy installation, Blue Water is available in a variety of colors and styles. All backed by a limited lifetime warranty. Blue Water by TH Marine. They sleep over there, head this way to the job site, and the big ones take their lunch break right about now. The Solix Series, with our most powerful innovations from Mega Imaging Plus to CrossTouch to AutoChart Live on our largest screen ever. Fish might call it an invasion of privacy. You'll call it a busy day for your live well. Only from Hummingbird. With a geometric triangular point to penetrate faster and easier. Oh my goodness. Surgically sharpened, resulting in a hook that penetrates twice as fast and dramatically improves strike to hook up ratios. Big it. Made in the USA. Get open the most extraordinary fish hook ever made. Trocar.
Hi, I'm Mark Zona. What? I'm Mark Zona. Well, I need a performance braid for finesse presentations. And I need a performance braid for power fishing. Seaguar Smackdown High Viz Flash Green lets me see line movement for those subtle bites. Smackdown Low Viz Stealth Gray blends in to make my presentations more natural. Both are eight strands in a perfectly round weave. And for me, it's the longest casting and quietest braid on the planet. Smackdown Braid from Seaguar, always the best. Fun time, good times, your time. There is nothing better than a day on the water. That is, until the unexpected happens. Nothing sinks a good time faster than a dead battery. Nothing turns a carefree morning into a stressful afternoon like an overheated engine. Why let your good day turn into a bad day when you can count on Boat US? With the nation's largest network of towboat US towers, we're here to assist you 24 hours a day. Boat US makes sure all your boating time is a great time. Wow, bro. I just need about. You are watching Zona Live. Look at the already. Presented by Trocar. Are we going to throw around? No, the you world catch it. You catch it. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we're going to start. Yes. Welcome back to Zona Live. Presented by Trocar Hooks. It's been a morning if you're just joining us. It's been a, a T-I-M-E. Um, and it seems like the warmer that the water's getting right now, we're still seeing a few that are spawning, goofing. But it has been a frog fishing and a swimming worm fiesta thus far. And send your questions. Hashtag Zona Live, right? That's right. Yeah. Hashtag Zona Live, hashtag sweepstakes, Twitter, and then the Facebook posts on your page. Way to go, Ronnie. Look at that one right there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, he's going to do it. He ain't got it. What? Yep, 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 yep. Gosh, dang it. You've got to be kidding me. That stuns me. That, like, blow. But you didn't stay stunned long? No. Let me just show this rig real quick, just because we'll get questions later on about it. This is the... Uh-oh, baby oh, one underneath my... Really? Yeah, it really is. I'm sorry. No, 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 that's good. We have not been able to finish complete sentences the entire day. This is Wes Miller's favorite rig right here. So I've got, so I've got a little 16th ounce screw lock weight. Big seven inch cutter worm. It's how we caught them the last time we were here. But that hook, we're going to give a pile of these away. If you notice that band at the bottom of that hook, that's a Trocar Pro V offset. And I use a, I use that, that style hook, whether it's on a Nico worm, a flipping hook, or an offset like this. I use that more than any hook I use because it's like the old style O'Shaughnessy hook. And generally when you get one, when you hit them, you've got them. We'll give a bunch of those away. Wait till we get down in that corner. Uh-huh. I like every corner. Gosh, I want to get in a hurry, and then I'm... Did you get one way, way, way? Way up in there? Yeah. Not really. I didn't, I didn't hit the bone. <sighs> you just feel like at any given time, it's going to... Whoa, 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that was, that was awesome. awesome. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> Ronnie, I'm a power pole down right here. I'm seeing all kinds of things. Wow. Thick and fat these bass are. I mean, we got to the dock this morning and I just love just looking at bass, looking at fish, just looking at the water. I mean, clear water like this to me is awesome. You can see that fish has kind of got that bloody tail right there. So probably sitting on a bed or just came off a of bed. But we got down to the water this morning and there's just thousands. I mean, literally thousands of bluegill. Everywhere you look, there's bluegill on top of the water. They feed them like crazy in here. I mean, it's, I mean, Z told me when, before we got here, he said, man, they just dump food in here constantly. And I mean, it's pretty obvious they do. There was there's a big a, one on that there spot. There was a bit on that one right there. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean a, were you just saving him for me? No, I threw in there. I didn't. Maybe he needed a pad perch. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, what a bite. That was the best thing in the world. That's a good one, too. That was the best thing in the world. Wow. Look at look what a humpback this one is. Look at his hump head. How about that, Wesley? Woo! Here you go, little dude. Ooh. My gosh. Here's the amazing thing. Clark hosts a gazillion shows a year. A fish like that, you kill for when you're taping. Oh my gosh, that's what you need. <laughs> you you a, need that fish. <laughs> that's a show closer. That's exactly what it is. Oy. And think about a, a swimming worm. I'm throwing that on, throwing that on 17 pound, 17 pound Seaguar Abrazex, which is re, real abra, abrasion resistant. But that mm. lightweight, that lightweight lets me get distance on it, like that cast right there. But basically, all you do is throw it out and reel it till one either eats it or if one hits it, all you got to do is. Just kill it. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'd already throw him. Maybe you should throw that. I got something for him. <sighs> got him. That was a whale of a cast right there. You deserve that fish right there. That, that hey, uh -huh. guarantee right now. Hey, guarantee. I can't believe that. I can't either. I mean, I, I mean. You hit it so good. I gotta get one back in that corner yet. Oh my gosh. This is exactly like what we're doing today. Growing up in Chicago, on the south side of Chicago, all the ponds and places that I go to. Cool. All the ponds. This is all I would throw growing up. What a bite. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one right there. Wow. That's awesome. Uh-huh. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, that was ferocious. Like, I don't even think, honestly, I don't think that's a pre-spawn fish. I think it's just that fat. I think it is, too. I think most of these probably are spawn. 
That bite scared me. That bite scared me. That's crazy. I'll tell you what was interesting though, is that fish and that swimming worm fish, dude, I'm talking about on the bank. Like crazy on the bank. What's that? Crisscross. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Imagine this place one year from today. I'm already thinking about it. <laughs> look, 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 look. You see? Oh my gosh, you see? Oh, oh man! Gosh, was that, that awesome? Was so, that was the I may have been the biggest one. Did you see him beforehand? I just saw the bed. I saw the oh, I see. big bright spot. Oh my gosh. What's I that thought in? you'd already caught one right there. I Maybe caught the that. one that to the just to the right. Wow. That may have been the that may have been the finest bite ever right there. Dude, he just kind of did this. Yeah, he just kind of eased up there. Turn the legs on that thing at You don't have to trim anything on these. Literally. Just like that. Out of the package, bend the hooks out just a hair. 50 pound cigar braid I'm using. The, the main reason I throw that I'm throwing 50 on this, you gotta. You, you're launching these. Like, we're making bomb casts today. But the great thing is, what, I, what I've noticed about both these baits, you're able to walk them and keep them in a... It, it's not like you're walking them a long distance. You know what I mean? You can... And keep it... Right there, you can see it. Move on. That was a really good bite. That was cool. Did you hit that bad? Yeah. 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 One right there, but it's little. Is there? Yeah, but he's little. Huh? That's just amazing. I, I could, I mean, <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. That's amazing. I mean, it could get insane no, down in that little it, ripple. It, it is insane. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep us going. Yeah, you do it. Yep. God, you're, you're just silent with anticipation of. Uh, you can't even. Like talk. a kid jumping off. Of, ooh, is that a bright spot? Or is that just a patch of grass? I think it's a pet patch of grass. But I'm gonna try it. Right there? Yes, sir. I'll fix it to tell you if it is. I think it's a patch of grass. Dude, it's unreal, man. Like, hold up, real. I think I hit that one out there, but. Oh. That's cool.
I sharked it. Just sharked it. Did you see him coming? Just saw the, you know, see the boil coming. My gosh, man. Ay, ay, ay. Wow. But that, you know, that was one of the things we were talking about, about having a, a high speed, speed reel to where a catfish was 30 yards out there. And at high speed reel, you're able to, to move them quick. Oh my gosh, get ready. I mean, something ugly can happen right there. You know, he's taken so much care in the way he's, you know, put all the little humps and ridges yep. and little channels and everything. That's amazing. I mean, this place has just got so much to throw at. Like all those stakes out there, all those stakes, every one of them is a little high spot. I told Clark before we got here, right when we launched the boat, as the day wears on, we'll try to show everybody kind of how he manicures this, Gerald Jones and, and Pat. But it's got areas where they can get up, lock on, spawn, you know, the other thing we didn't talk about, there's a big one right there, there's man. There's a big one just right a, here, too. Here's power really? pole down for just a second. Yeah. And we didn't talk about this. What well, you got to be careful of, if you guys look at, at home, if you look at the, the lay of the land here, this, isn't, this is not a great big body of water. You got to be real careful that when they reproduce, this is just like a, a deer ranch. I mean, Clark, Clark's run a deer ranch for, for decades. Is Oh my gosh, look at that bass right there. See him? Yeah. Just went across it? Yeah, I did. Is you can't let them spawn and spawn and spawn and you don't take fish out of here. Uh, you, you have to thin the herd. You, you can't, you know, we've caught some, some two pounders today. My Gosh, is that a good one? On that second bed? Yeah. Look, you see him? Yeah. Little one right that there. That one just hit that one, that one already bit. I shook him off already. I didn't like him. He's just too little. But what 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 can happen in a place like this is you get too many and they'll and, and, and they don't have enough forage. Wow. I guess he wasn't quite as little as we thought. <laughs> Wonder how big the other one is. I know it is a lot bigger. Look how fat this guy is. See? Look at this. Yeah, he's much bigger than I thought he was. God, I thought he was like a pound and a half, two pounds. Get him up here and he's three and a half. Gosh, that's so all those other two pounders we've seen swimming around aren't two pounders. <laughs> right. It may not be. We've caught one two pounder. Yeah, you were mentioning it like it was plural, but it's singular. One. You know, but that's the thing you got to watch. If, if you're at home and you're watching this and you've got a pond or your friend's got a pond that you go to, you got to be real careful that that pond does not get overpopulated. I, I managed a pond where I lived where, when my kids were growing up. And I put a bunch of great big ones in this pond and they spawned. Well, you want your kids to, 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 to get, catch numbers, but it's, it's amazing how quickly numbers in a pond can get out of control and you can never get it back then. You can never get it back. Once they get stunted, how did I not catch a... That looks like a little one. He's coming right at me. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. <laughs> no, he's not. I mean, it's a good one. That was like... Jaws hitting it.
That was a fine bite. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> That's crazy. That fish. Wow. It's fixing to go down, man. It's getting warmer. I say it's fixing to go down, All right? That one wasn't very big, I don't think. Of course, not big as three, three plus. Relatives. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, he's following you right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you scared him, didn't you? Yeah. See, I've never seen a southern bass that look like these guys right here. Never. Even if you get on Fork or Rayburn or Toledo or Falcon, I mean, they still, they're not, they're not as thick and fat as some Across of these fish. Across the back. I mean, too. amazing. Yeah. When Hackney and I were here last year, I said, I, like, we would catch them, and they were, you know, a lot of three and three quarters to a lot of four and a quarters. I'm liking that right there. Oh my gosh. Wow. I lost money on that throw. <laughs> yeah, but you hadn't lost money on too many throws today. Clark made the comment, he's like, let's go somewhere where there's good ones that'll really tune me up for fork. <laughs> no, no, hold on, I did not say that. <laughs> but it's a good thought. Ooh! It just kissed it! It, it just did. kissed it! It totally did. Wow. That bite was, I mean, just. It was, it was not a violent strike at all. That, I mean, a humpback. <laughs> just a complete humpback. God. Yeah, that's like the one of the shortest ones. Look at that yeah. guy. Yeah. It's deformed. And weighs three and a half. Yeah, three and a half. For sure. Wow. Yeah, that one just came up and. Kissed it, Z. So <laughs> you are so good. Oh, my backlash so from that last bit. <laughs> you, you let me have it though, didn't you? I did. I think you're going to be okay where you are though. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, son, that was a big one. Look at the one that followed him. There's a bunch right yeah. here. Oh, there is bunch, a bunch. Bunch, bunch, bunch. My gosh, they're everywhere. Uh, they're, they're everywhere. All right, I gotta give, so. Violent. Oh. This, There's four, there's three or four of them right underneath. Yeah, I can see it. You going with a worm? I, I got it. <laughs> I got it. I mean, I, I, I can't believe that. Oh, and I didn't throw it far enough. You hadn't got to buy it? Oh, look at that bright spot. Right. I missed that bright spot. I think the frog is funner. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I 
Unreal. Unreal. Yeah, this is on the live. This will be hard to this will be hard to top the next time we're in five foot waves on Lake Huron with Chris Eldan. <laughs> I'll tell Chris to enjoy himself. So we were watching a pile that I'm just going to hold here for a minute. He feeds bluegills here. He feeds the bluegills. And what's funny is we were staring at bluegills this morning and you'll just see these black shadows sitting underneath the bluegills and then just a massive giant flash, just a whoosh. And I mean, they're eating bluegills in here that way three quarter of a pound to a pound. I'm just gonna keep moving. I mean, really? Hold on just a second. Let me throw one under yes, that sir. dock for a second. Let it happen. God, you know that that was criminal. That didn't didn't work right there. What? Yeah, I thought you could blast it right there. Uh, I can't. I just can't quite get the angle. Something bad. Something bad could happen right there. Oh, that stuns me. That was a lot of fish right there. Yeah. Yeah. We'll use him later. Get him. Get him. Oh, my frog's messed up. That's why it's not working. There we go. Nice. You deserve one. Oh, I can't believe that. It's pretty matted under there, don't you think? It is. That, should, that really should have been a fish, though. I, I think I gotta just throw it in there too hard. That didn't happen. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's wrong. Oh, I didn't know you were worming him. I am. It's just cheating. Wes wants to see a couple on a worm. He said it. Have you already? Have so, not. Have so not bombed it. Huh? A thousand photos in an hour. Do we have a thousand photos? That one will scratch you up. Hey, we got to thank our guy Eric Kafka, always on the Zona shoots. He came and helped us check in cell service down here. Hoping his mom's okay. I mean, it's gonna get ugly in a minute. See? Yeah. It's already <laughs> ugly. <laughs> Z, you ready for a couple? Ronnie, I rock and we gotta fire, work in bud. at least three questions in a half hour because we're gonna get interrupted, so. Rock and fire. Yeah, it's gonna get bad here in a minute. Like, it's gonna get bad, bad. Uh, because it's pertinent to the bite that you guys are on now. Uh-huh. Um, well, I just lost his name. I'll find his name. What, uh, does frog color matter? Like, when are you gonna, you know, how simple do you keep frog colors? Are there any frog colors that uh, you switch up to if they're missing it or? I like Clark rock and fire. Well, I mean, I'm going to go, you know, Todd Castledine, I consider to be one of the best froggers anywhere uh, from Texas. And he told me he only throws black and white. Now, I like the brim colored ones um, probably the best, but but right. I'll throw I'll throw black. And if if there's like a shad spawn going on or if there's a lot of uh, or if there's a lot of fish that are, you know, feeding up real shallow, like on bait, I might go with white. But bluegill pretty hard to beat that bluegill one that that green pumpkin gill that he's throwing that i got tied on for the for the popping perch man when the water's gin clear like we got here that is you 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 
That's hard to beat. That is hard to beat. It just looks so natural. That one was from Rob Kirk, go, by the way. You? We got one from our friend Neil Paul. Yes, sir! Neil Paul Anderson! He said, when you're, well. when you're fishing a frog, you have that follow-up bait, you know, the Magnum Cutter Worm. Is there anything to do with the presentation, slowing it down, or is it just getting something else in their face quickly? Hold up real quick, Ronnie. What's he doing in here? That thing will get eaten. It just got hatched out by I mean, that spawned. thing got yeah. spawned this morning. <laughs> what did Neil ask? Hold on. Sorry. You've got your follow-up. Yeah. Magnum cut a worm to a frog. Is it anything to do with the presentation, or is it just that it's subsurface and in their face quickly after you Subsurface, and, and generally generally a really lightweight for a follow-up. Um, you know, a lot of times, you know, just an Ocho, just a weightless Ocho. The reason I'm using it, I, I love that that cutter worm, just because it the, the big one that I'm throwing, because it moves just moves a lot of water. Tim Carlson wants to know, this is maybe just a, something he's noticed, that why do anglers not work their top water necessarily all the way back to the boat? Yeah, I know it's clear water, and you guys can probably see here, but even in dirty... Oh, oh, that scared the fire out of me. Gosh. That scared the fire out of me. Keep going, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> I think the reason today Keep you're not working into the boat, you don't get it. They, they get it before you get back here. It is, but a lot, but a lot of it is, is the clear water, and um, and and sometimes you get a cast halfway in, and you, and I know, I, I mean, I'm guilty of this, but but I'll say I see something better. You're looking at your next cast, yeah, 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 because I don't want you to front right. end me on the next one. So I mean, <laughs> that's horrible. So I'm going to get in there as quick as I can. But no, I mean, in all seriousness, a lot of times you just see something you like more, so you throw there. Yeah, that was a really good bite. Are you? You see that fella right there, Wes? Get Gerald right there. That right there is the best. That's the best lake manager on planet Earth, in my opinion, right yeah, there, no Gerald doubt. Jones. Yes, sir. That is as good as they get at this game. Are we actually going to slide into this dock? Absolutely. I hear them. They're Ooh, schooling. Look, they're schooling. They're sco yeah, they're schooling under the dock. <laughs> they might really get nasty there. Beth Kazikowicz, I probably messed that up really bad, but wanted to know what Clark's largest fish ever, living in Texas, fishing some of those big fish factories. What's your biggest fish ever? Maybe give us largemouth and smallmouth, and if you know your spot as well. Yeah, I don't know my spot, but but I, I caught a smallmouth at Lake Pickwick in a back in the old Everstart days. Um, wow, that's when we fished against each other. Eight pounds, three ounces. Wow! Wow! I mean, it was a giant smallmouth and largemouth. Um, the biggest I've ever caught. I was filming with Wade for uh, actually for fishing and hunting Texas back when he was the host, and I caught a twelve ten. <laughs> And so I probably <laughs> caught a couple bigger that I didn't weigh, but but that's the biggest I've ever weighed. Twelve ten. What'd you catch it on? Uh, one point five. You're kidding me. Mm -mm. On a square bill. Yep. Oh, it was an amazing day. It was just one of those unbelievable. Look at all the brim. Look at all the bluegill. This is gonna get nasty right here. Look I, at all the bluegill. Oh, Wes, that's can you a get school them? of bluegill behind my bait. There's why this that this pond is incredible. You see it, Wes? Look at that. That's amazing. Is there one coming over to it? It uh -oh. might be now. Yep. Hold up. Oh. Holy Hold up. cow! Something so bad is. <clears throat> I see him. Hold on. I see him. I see him. I see him. Oh, I see him too. There's yep. a bunch of them. Yep. 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 Oh gosh. He's right on. Oh. What was that? 
Something took it down, but it was a little. Seriously. You just try you throw a worm in there? I did. I had to. <laughs> I had to. Why? So <laughs> why? We'll get some yeah, wow. Oh, that's a big in. That's a big in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did you throw a worm in there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's a big one. Well, that keep, is a really big one. I keep saying that because I feel like you're cheating when you do it. Look at that. Let me help you with that one. Wow. Yeah, he got it. I mean, he, he got it good. <laughs> Oh, Holy cow. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is. Oh, hey. Get that. Wow. I may need pliers, eh? Yes, sir. Here you go, bud. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Wes, get these gills right here. Look at them. Good one. Good one. Really big. It is. How big was that one? Six. Right at six. Huh? Right at six. I'd say. Second year class fish. There he is right there. I just watched him go right back to the dock. Look at that one coming out. Holy cow. It's like a bear that just came out of his cave. You just waiting for me? Yes, sir. Could you imagine how bad it would suck to be one of those bluegills right there? Dock yep. One. You're gonna catch him. I can't even. I can hear you breathing. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, oh my, gosh. my gosh! Look at the size of that. That one is right a there. shamu. Oh, 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 wow, he just faded down. He almost bit it right there. I know. Look at that one coming out. They're all under these gills. Wow. That's a big one, bud. Look at the size of that bass. <laughs> I mean, he keeps giving me a hard time about breathing hard. Should, I can't should we keep it. a few for pictures for Ronnie? Yeah. Till later. That's a that's a great big one. Wow. See, I need those pliers again. Yes, sir. There you go, Bubba. We'll keep all the room. Oh my gosh. Great fish. Great fish. Yeah, let's do that. Let's we'll bring them right back here and release them later. I mean Clark is just getting heated up. Just getting heated up. I'm pretty tore up right now. Where's my where's my 
A swim jig, though. What the heck? We, th we, did we threw it out. Did we? No. <laughs> I don't know. I just watched the one about seven come out. That was a big one. The biggest one was that one that almost bit on that frog. I mean, that's the biggest one. I've seen. I mean, should I duck? Look at those bluegill. Wes, you got those? I'm sorry, Zay. It's You're gonna fine. happen again. My, I, gotta, I gotta do some re-rigging when we get to break anyway. I mean, my stuff is true. Oh, I missed that one. Just trashed. I think the heavier weight's better. I'm throwing like a 5 sixteenths. It gets a bite us. When I thump it, when I hop it up in that grass, it's just like, that's gonna be ugly right here. There he comes. He was coming. I saw him. I saw him. Wow. I don't know where, where our swim jig went. I totally don't. I, I don't know. But You're not worried about it, are no, you? No, not too bad. There it is. Oop. Just a minute. No, it's okay. Here, look, hold on just a sec, Zane. Let me show you how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold my beer, bro. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> if you could just hang on and don't throw in that stuff. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get one in there. <laughs> just see, if, see if you can get him. Eating a bug, man. And nothing. I mean, j just dry. And they're pretty well thumping it pretty hard. Are they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you. I want that to happen. I'll just catch one out away from the dock. Oh, there he is. He came right out oh, for it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he did. Now you had him. All right, moving on, moving on. What? Moving on. Don't want to, don't want to sore my But I might get one more in there. What a morning. Okay. Uh-uh. Ooh. You've caught 25 pounds off the dock. That's a giant. Oh, he came that off. was a giant. Oh my goodness. Well, if you just power pull down there, I'd catch no another 25. Way. No way. Wow. Hold up real quick, Ronnie. That was it. That was that was that that was that was really big. I'll give you one more crack at him. Well, thank you, Z. It's very nice of you. I feel like you're taking one for the team right I, now. We're a little bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I can do that. You can catch him later. Okay. I'm not gonna lie to you, that was pretty fun. That was awesome. What do we got out here? We, we, we this is, and we have not nipped on pretty, 
too hard. Oh! Oh my God! Hey, Wes. That's a big one. God, she came off. That was a good one, though. I think if you just give him a second, he'll go right back. We still haven't hit the rock pile yet. Wow. I nicked him the last time. Yeah, you, you kind of touched him there. Huh. You definitely did. Yeah, we haven't done. Ronnie, question it up, hashtag zone alive. Z. Yes, sir. I had this one in mind to use before y'all yes, started catching them on the dock. From at Fly Hatch, wanted to know what's probably in your what's opinion. What's his name? What's at, his name again? At Fly at Hatch. At Fly Hatch? Got yeah. it. What's your uh, biggest sleeper bait in the pre spawn? You know, lipless is a big bait, chatter bait, or bladed jig. What's your sleeper that no one talks about? Maybe that's really great. In a pre spawn? Yeah, that mid spring, that early spring time. Man, I, and this is more of a region, but I, any of my buddies will start laughing at this at home. Look at his hump head. Whoa. He keeps giving me a hard time about breathing, Hart. Should, should we it. keep a few for pictures for Ronnie? Till later? That I go to. That was a fine bite. That was awesome. Ooh! It just kissed it! It, it just did. kissed it! it totally. Wow. Yeah, wow. Oh, that's a big in. That's a big in. Wow. Yeah, he got it. I mean, he, he got it good. The, 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 gosh, that's a big in. Wow. All right, see. Wow, that's a big one. <laughs> Look at that humpback. Huh? <laughs> look at that. Oh, I love this. This is so, oh, it's so awesome. God, look how fat that guy what is. What a bite. The, 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 it was amazing. Right, anyway, so silver buddy, yeah, all right. Oh, my heart. Oh, feel me hot. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Wes, that could have been one of the Zone Alive is brought to you by Carhartt. Procar. And by Power Pole. When your hands are busy, your mind gets right. When your hands are busy, you can't point fingers and complain that life isn't fair. When your hands are busy, you're serving your family, your friends, and your community. When your hands are busy, you show everyone what you're capable of. The all-new Ram 1500, Motor Trend's 2019 Truck of the Year. At Mercury, we invested more than 844,419 hours of engineering manpower so you can enjoy hours and hours of untapped horsepower. So buckle up and hold on tight. Introducing the all-new V6 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. For the love of mud, 
gravel, and trail dust. For the love of farm roads, dirt roads, and no roads. For the love of hunting, fishing, and working the land. For the love of conservation, preservation, and restoration. Introducing Tracker Off-Road Vehicles, designed and built on American soil for kicking up American soil. Tracker Off-Road, built for love of country. Pick up the Daiwa Tatula LT Spinning Reel. For its incredible toughness, yes. For its aircraft great gears and high speed retrieve, sure. But seriously, pick it up and feel just how light it is. And the Daiwa Tatula SV Baitcast Reels, multiple gear ratios, and the SV's pool will show you what long controlled casting really is. Match them up with Tatula Elite Rods and you'll hold perfection in your hands. Blue Water by TH Marine. Offering LED lighting solutions for your boat, trailer, truck, ATV, and so much more. Engineered and built to be rugged with waterproof and submersible options. Designed for easy installation, Blue Water is available in a variety of colors and styles. All backed by a limited lifetime warranty. Blue Water by TH Marine. What lies beneath can no longer hide. New Mega Imaging Plus uses high-frequency sonar to show you fish and structure up to 200 feet below your boat and 200 feet out to either side. No more secrets, no more guesswork, just a clearer picture of the world below, down to a fish's species and direction. Because more detail means more of this. Only from Humminbird. With a geometric triangular point to penetrate faster and easier. Oh my goodness. Surgically sharpened, resulting in a hook that penetrates twice as fast and dramatically improves strike to hook up ratios. Big it. Made in the USA. Get open the most extraordinary fish hook ever made. Trocar. Hi, I'm Mark Zona. What? I'm Mark Zona. Well, I need a performance braid for finesse presentations. And I need a performance braid for power fishing. Seaguar Smackdown High Viz Flash Green lets me see line movement for those subtle bites. Smackdown Low Viz Stealth Gray blends in to make my presentations more natural. Both are eight strands in a perfectly round weave. And for me, it's the longest casting and quietest braid on the planet. Smackdown Braid from Seaguar, always the best. Fun time, good times, your time. There is nothing better than a day on the water. That is, until the unexpected happens. Nothing sinks a good time faster than a dead battery. Nothing turns a carefree morning into a stressful afternoon like an overheated engine. Why let your good day turn into a bad day when you can count on Boat US? With the nation's largest network of towboat US towers, we're here to assist you 24 hours a day. Boat US makes sure all your boating time is a great time. 
You're watching Zona Live. Presented by Trocar. Absolutely the world's sharpest fish. The big one was on that clean spot, wasn't it? Yeah, he was right about right right there. Here we go. Welcome back to Zona Live, presented by Trocar. My guy Clark Wendlin, in the last 30 minutes, has been possessed. <laughs> Out of control. Oh, and still is, and still is. <laughs> that was. <laughs> what a fantastic nibble. So good. <laughs> That's a nice one, oh, man. Eating a little pad purse pretty good right now. <laughs> mm. Gosh, that's beautiful fish. Biggins are starting to bite. <laughs> you bet. I think he's got pepper grass in there. Right there. That's no, I, way cool. Did you throw it that? Yeah. You see that bad west? Sticks out. That one does for sure. We're on fresh water. I mean new water. New water and it's about to be ugly. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna hold us away from the bank so we don't get loose signal. I mean, it, it's it's amazing to me of how how one that sun come up just a little bit and that water spiked just a hair where they went from to goosh. Now there's no question that's what it yes. was. I mean. We got here, saw all those fish, and but they just weren't. They didn't. One I mean, time. It, it wasn't right yet. It seems to be a little more right. <laughs> Ooh. Look out now. I'm hounding that thing now. Digging. Big one? I don't know. I hadn't seen him yet, but he looks pretty big. That's a big one. Another big one. I think he's just fat. Ronnie, tell, tell, tell me if we, this is camera or worthy for picks for later on. I better get down here and grab him. The boat's such a disaster, Z. We can't. It really is. No, I don't. I don't know. No, I don't, I don't think he's gonna make the grade. I don't think he grade. makes the squad. Have we? Thrown seven back. Yeah, that's that's a mere four and a half pounder. Scoff, Scoff at that bass. Scoff. Now, when we taped here the last time, it's for everybody at home. Oh my gosh, little one, I think. I, I think he might have been pretty big. I kind of think he's going to bite again. You see that bright spot right here? Yeah. Did he bite? Yeah, he pulled the tail down. Yeah, he's, he's like took the back of it or something. I think there's one on that. Yeah, there is. There is. Well, I'll wait. I'll wait for a... No, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I mean, let's get it. Oh, my gosh. You got to get that one. All my tails are gone. There's one tail left. He's on. just biting yep. your tail off. I mean, there's nothing else for him to get but the bait now. He get it now? Uh uh. You might as well just throw a worm in there and get it over with. Right, I like to throw it right on his head. You might as just, well. Just throw it right on I his mean, head. I mean, I just hop it one time and jerk. He's small. Little dude. I think that might have been the one that took all your stuff. Wes, let me show you what this fish did to my to my popping perch. 
look at this. You got an old single again. Hi there. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> it's like it's flipping me the bird. Right? He ate every bit of it. All right, I'm going to throw in this one nice looking white spot right here. I've been waiting on it. Wow, I, that blows me away. Well, are you, you got your worm? Yeah, I'm ready. Well, I'll throw it in now. <laughs> no? Wow. Okay, I'm gonna, I gotta get, I gotta get, look at this mess. Look at this mess. And the best part of it is, is that it's your boat. I mean trashed. It was trashed after Table Rock. I was up at Legends of Golf with uh, a bunch of the guys from Bass Pro Shops, Wade Middleton, a bunch of dudes. And we trashed it up there. They were spawning real hard. They had a Pro-Am event. And I had it just cleaned up last night. Till this exploded today. What am I doing? I was gonna, I was gonna tie on the same bait. Am I waiting on you? Or oh no! Go ahead. No, go ahead. Thank you. See. Absolutely, go ahead. I mean, if it's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the, I'm gonna stay with the, pop and perch. That perch. Little guy, that's the baby one. Like, I'm seriously, I'm gassed from this morning. That was insane how good. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to send that one to, I'm going to send that one too to a, to a viewer. Can we show you one thing? One thing I do on these, ready? Is just tweak, just tweak those hooks out just a hair. Insane. So Ronnie, we're giving away Zona Tackle Basket, TH Marine, conservation call system and a bunch of trocar trocar stuff you know i'm gonna do it you ready watch this somebody else somebody else i'll do this uh -oh. yeah i'm not bonus? kidding huh bonus bonus prize bonus prize bonus prize that right there wesley boom boom Like that's Zona a, said. That's a Trocar fun pouch. Fun pouch. Yes. So Karen knows. Send trocar. in your questions if you want to get them answered. We got two hours left, half the day. It feels like we've been out here. <laughs> it really does. For, it feels like we've been out here for. Too. Send in your questions using hashtag Zona Live, hashtag sweepstakes okay. on Twitter. Uh, just post those up. And then on Facebook, find the Bassmaster post uh, prompting Zona Live as well as Zona's awesome fishing page, uh, fishing show, and it's his awesome fishing page. Drop your questions there. Like you said, what was it? Like a 10 pack of assortment of trocar hooks? Trocar, with some no, there's more than a 10 pack in there. Well, yes, that's the there fun a, pack bonus. Yeah, fun pack bonus. Some TH Marine, the conservation coal system. You've seen that in the Elite Series the last few weeks being used. How is there not one on that? A lot of good stuff. You don't have to get your question answered like on style, live. All you have to do I is like submit a question. It basically closes when Zona Live is done today. So, uh, actually, a question for Ronnie. Question from, uh, for Ronnie. Mark from Michigan asks, you being the biggest Cardinals fan on planet Earth, how do you feel about the number one draft pick last night, friend? I, I don't feel. Wow. I don't feel. Wow. I'm, not, I'm not very happy with my, with my football team for, for yeah, picking a position that we uh, were totally fine at if they just had a little patience. So what you're saying is you like it? No, I didn't. Not at all. 
His mom is taller than him. That's horrible, Ronald. Not a big fan of that. Not a big fan of that. When your when your younger sister and your mom hug you after you get drafted and they're and they're uh, taller than you, that's just scary. Ronnie, you're uh, that. I, well, I felt that way a little bit about young Mitchell Trubisky a year or two ago, <laughs> but I'm good with it now. I'm in. I'm in. And it doesn't help that our uh, hometown wide receiver boy that was just down the road, they were going to draft. Hold up, young Ronnie. Got stolen by the Patriots. Say that again. Last pick of the first round. Hometown I saw that. Wide receiver stud. Yes, I saw that. Up. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. Well, I can't believe that. Wow. If Steven Bowman was Steve Bowman was out of here, he'd be stunned at that. I uh, like Kurt Warner. When Kurt Warner joined the Cardinals. So a decade with that being ago. said, young Ronnie. Huh? So with that being said, young Ronnie. I'll what, still go to a game this year. What, what who 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 do you feel that they should have took? Quinnen. Quinnen no, Williams. No doubt. No, most dominant D lineman in the draft. Maybe most dominant player in the draft. Okay. That's not saying that the quarterback, you know, that went number one isn't dominant. I just don't feel like he could be the most dominant at his position. Okay. This year. More of a toss up, less of a sure thing. Ronnie, but I'm they wanted it. some pop, flare, and yeah. sizzle, so they went. That's what big. they did. It's all good. Thanks for that soapbox, Z. I feel better now. Well, no, I, it, that's a big thing. Watching these bass get caught and me not being able to fish and then watching the draft last night and just, yeah, a lot of helplessness here. <laughs> Man, this is stunning out here. Surprised. That's where the little ones are, Z. Sevener. You can get crushed right there, dog, on that high spot. I should. Wow. But You're right. Did, but it didn't. The Something. bike, the shallow has been better. Yep, no doubt, no doubt. I think if you spend a little time out here and figured it out, you'd be fine. But there's a, surely there's plenty of them out here. Oh, I'm blown away by that. Are you throwing your cutter one? I'm just throwing a swim jig. Okay. blown away by that. We shot a lot of the show out here last time. There's a big one. Just sulking. Sam? Yeah. Let's just keep going. I think if we want to come out here, we can catch him. Huh? I think if we wanted to just sit out here and figure, yeah. out, figure out what baits would work. But why figure it out when they're biting the Exactly. Frog. I'm very curious to see what we catch on this far bank. Last time we were here, that was the deal. Nice. I'll get you to the tip of that island. Man, got off the bank at the slowest spin. 
It's all kinds of little sand. Yeah. Or maybe that's grass. I think that's grass, isn't it? Yeah, it's grass. Oh, there's a big old bright spot. Is there? Right there. Doesn't oh. that look different? I think it is. It's right here. Maybe it's a tuft, I don't know. It looks like a sand spot. That's weird. Yeah, that is a sand So spot. some of the deepest, that is a bright spot, isn't it? Yeah. So some of the deepest water in here, what they did, just if you've been hanging with us today, what they did was they basically dredged channels out here where a lot of these fish, I'm sure they sag in the winter time. But the most depth in here is right out. <coughs> Thunder cricket bite, I don't think it's a big one. Yeah, that's not a bad one. Yeah, you're right. Unbelievable how those things are built. Just, I thought that fish was two pounds when I hit him. We were real close to the rock pile. Like, real close. See the rock pile? Right on the other side? Yeah. <laughs> that woo would have been a crazy celebration. Yeah. Woo! -hoo. Yeah, woo! -hoo. I mean, this was the deal the last time. A good one right there. Yeah. Oh, He's locked on. We can catch him if we want. Yep. Save him for the later round today. Clark, I feel real good about you catching one on the next cast. I like your optimism. I, I feel it. I really, I like the fact that you think I'm going to catch one. I, I'm I pretty feel sure I it, too. brother. Matter of fact, I'm going to end this cast just, just because just the anticipation it. is there. Ready, Wesley? Yes, sir. I might have been a little shy. I think it'll be okay, though. You're kidding me. Wow. Don't live in the past. Don't live in the past. <laughs> exactly Don't live in the past. <laughs> We've heard that before. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, they're there. Should be more than one. Oh, that was definitely more yeah. than one. Nice one. No, I'm, I mean I'm reeling my nice one in watching your bait. Look at that. Gosh. Woo! Oh. Perfect. Goodness. Perfect. Perfect. Fat. Gosh. Oh. Amazing. That's awesome. It's like they, they pulled him off of it. Wow. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go down this right hand. Wes, with this tree line, Ronnie, let me know if we get lose any reception, okay? Right. Thank you. Hey, Ronnie. Tell any of my buddies that are all up on St. Clair to post some pictures of their of their smallies they're catching today. They're crushing them up there. 
What do you want me to tell them? Just post their pictures. There's a big one. Oh, okay. Gosh, that is. Yeah. We'll save him for. Was he on a? Is he on a bed? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> you. Hey, I think you. Oh, I did, didn't I? You, you just. Yeah, your mic is up, Z. So you just. Told Sorry, them. I'm, I'm squirreled out bad, man. <laughs> I feel like I'm not able to, to jump in on Ronnie's social media extravaganza. We, we are live. Ooh. But I, I will relay the message. I promise you Thanks, I will Ronnie. relay the message. Well, you guys are having a time. Look at, there he was, little fella. Hi there. Hi there. Hey, Wesley, we caught him in there, right? That, that was the deal. In that pocket. Yep. yep. So, you might not be able to get You're right. Yeah. A little slurp. <laughs> That's a good one. Is it? Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> wow. Is that one live? Oh. No. Oh. oh. Interesting. They're eating the pad perch a lot better now that the sun's. That wasn't that you know big a bite. It was kind of that little slurpy. Little slurpy. I'm glad. I'm glad we. I'll tell you one thing. We may need a massage therapist <laughs> helping us tonight, <laughs> just to be able to continue to fish. <laughs> right. You do, don't you, Ronnie? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh. There's one. Oh, he was coming. Was he? Wow. My bait got messed up. Steve, you worked it all the way to the back like that fan I, I, I realized that, Ronnie, but it was it was right. it was fouled. Oh. That's a good one. It looks like a big one. Dude, they're right on the bank. They are. I mean, just about every bite we have is. Yeah. Right on the bank. like he's never seen a fishing lure. Wow. Imagine what it'll be like at dusk out here up with these. Yeah, it, it, right? you wouldn't think it could be much better, but. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get us to. Oh my gosh! I think that stringy stuff would really wrap up a buzz bait bag. Yeah, rage toad might. That, be that'd catch him. All right. I'm... Oh, shit. Coming right at me. Let me come off. Look at those. Oh, save those till later. Okay. Waypoint. Surely not. I think we got it under control. Can you see him, Wes? Uh, which one? They're right below your foot. Okay, so before I was interrupted right there, Clark, what will it take to win Texas Fest? Huh? Oh my gosh. Oh! Awesome, awesome. That, that was awesome, awesome, awesome. That was. Betty, they're all over right here. I thought he, I thought he took it down, but he may, he may not have. A tail grabber, wasn't he? I guess he was. What's it going to take to win the Bass Festivus? I mean, I'd say it's going to be. Will it be a hundred? Four to oh well, heck yeah! Because I mean, 
Keith Combs won with a uh, um, wow. three-day tournament with 110. Right. So I guess I'm thinking it'll be. I'm thinking 120. Really? 115, I don't know. It's just a good lake. I mean, when you got a good lake, you put a bunch of good fishermen on it, you're going to have a big weight. I mean, that was a little chublin. Little Jackie Chublin. <laughs> well, aye, aye, aye. They're getting on them stumps. They're getting on them stumps. <laughs> Get him out of there. I don't know if I can, Z. Yeah, he went the right way. I mean, just another good old chub. <laughs> That's so awesome. I mean, just another good old chub. I think there's another one on there. My gosh. How many pictures have you taken? Ballpark, best guess. Uh, I'll tell you for sure. 1,500. <laughs> Takes somebody two hours to go through the gallery. Oh, good old chub. Yeah, there's some... They're new to zone alive. Hey. That was fun. Did you cast on the... No. I'm going to take left. You go left first. It's kind of burned me from covering normal elite events in the water if I have to <laughs> doing this. Some fiction happens, eh? They're like, yo, Clark, catch the more, please. Clark, need in the gallery. Trying, I have to call. Some, something's gonna, like, <laughs> absolutely happen right now. Get ready. What? I'm almost glad I had a little bit of a break there. <laughs> Now you go. Pop, flare, and sizzle. Oh, Big, oh, oh. Huh? Yes, sir. Boy, there is a, I mean, a, a tranas of them on that point. I mean, pop, flare, and sizzle. What? It I is, can't even believe it? that. They're they're brothers. They really are. Would you look at how this one's built? Look at this thing's stomach. <laughs> I mean, they're they're still three and a half pounds. They absolutely are. That's that fun. They're gonna fight when you let them get pop, this. flare, and sizzle. They started fighting. What was on that point? I just need your word again on the point. A tranas of them. <laughs> An entire tranas of them. I feel like I need to throw a worm on it. What's that? No, that'd be the tranas right there. Like a little pinch point, I think. Did you catch one on that tree? I hadn't thrown. Oh, no, I did catch one there. Sorry. <laughs> kind of messed you up. I bet I'll get one in there. <laughs> Dude, there's a lot of there's a lot of wounded equipment after today. I got some lures laying around that are not doing well. I didn't, have, I didn't catch one. I'll tell you what's weird. Of everything, they have bit that the best. What's that? Thunder cricket. Oh, Ronnie likes that. Oh. Ronnie's the thunder cricket. Ow! Ronnie's a thunder cricket. You could barely get your hand around their back like that, Clark. Like barely get your hand oh, around them. Amazing.
You like that? You're gonna see some more of it. She threatened me with a good time, Ronnie Moore. I, you know what's funny is, literally, I'm not saying this jokingly. When we, when we, when we shot the Zona show here last year with Greg, all I thought about is if we could pull off a. You know, we only generally do one private lake zona shoot a year, but when I asked Mr. Pat, who owns the lake, I said, man, would you mind if we came and tested to try to, try to do a live show? The problem is, in, in all honesty, we're gonna, our next live shows are gonna be up small mouthing, but this is hard to, like this is really hard to, you know. Beat. It's hard, yeah, brutal to beat, to be honest with you. I mean, it's got a lot of pop, flare, and sizzle. Isn't that right, Ronnie? Yes, and hey, this is the first Zona Live or Zona Shoot I've ever been on with you. Yeah. Where we're in shorts and it's sunny. Wow, and you're it's right. Not raining. This is good. Even Wes, in Florida, have we it ever had bibs. a Zona Live where we were in shorts ever? No. No, even, usually even it's Even in like, Florida this year with the Benton and Cook, it was bibs and jacket. You're right. This is good. I this figured it works. would rain. Once you said that, hey, you're coming next week, I was like, yeah, I'm probably going to rain. Wow. Now, if we can go back in there and still have cell service, it's gonna go down. Look at that one. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Oh, I know they're everywhere. See? I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's like now. Now we're just throwing it over throwing. grass flats. <laughs> We've kind of gotten into a little low of three and a half pounders. There. Exactly. We need to get back to the fives. We need to get back to the five. We do, and we will. We will. I mean, there could be some stuff. Oh, no, that was just my bait. Oh. It's, it's messed up. Hey, did you hear him say we're having crawfish tonight? I did. That's really exciting. I did. I hadn't had them all year. That's pretty cool. This looks like vibrating jig water right to me. I know. I just don't think there's that many out in the middle. I would guess. Yeah, it'd be yeah. ugly in the winter. Yeah. Before that grass grows up in this ditch, it's the deepest water is right there. All right, I'm gonna just keep us rolling. And what's funny is you don't even see them out here. We saw it. Oh, I didn't realize this. No, it's not shallow right there. Say it again. We are. Like, we're getting into really scary stuff right up in here. Like spooky. Okay. Wes, just keep me posted on the on the uh, cell. Up here. Hi there. Well, that's a good looking one. There it is, isn't it? Man. What's that? That's it. Is it really? It is a little bit, a little bit. Okay. If we need to, we could save this till later. Oh, Whoa. Grass on there. Okay. That area right there is the most I was worried about with service. Keep trying it, Wes. Okay. Now, I think, yeah, you're you're close to guarantee on that. Yeah, 
yeah, just poke, poke, poke around. Believe it, one one on that point. Get him, get him. Hey. I give you the same spot. Oh my God! That was a what shark. A... That's a big one too, man. It, it looked like it was. Yeah, it's a big one. I mean, that was a shark bite. Yeah, that's a big one. You want me to grab him for you? Nah, I'll get him. We'll just... Yee! Yee! Wow. Did you see that bite, dog? Yee! I can't swim that one. Hi there. Hi there. I mean... All the way in their crushers, every single one of them. Just poke, them. Just poke, poke, poke away. Put him in for a picture. Here you go, buddy. Wow. Dude, hey. Oh! That's nice. All right, I'm going to keep poking in there. You think we're good? I think okay. we are. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> That's so great. Yeah. Yeah, we got good. absolutely good cell guys. They are good. Let's go. <laughs> you got poles, man. That was an awesome bite. That was awesome. Boosh! That was awesome. I agree. It looked, it looked big. How much did that one weigh? That's a five. It's, a, it's over, probably over five. It is, isn't it? Is that like a tire reef? I think it's a little rock pot. Yeah, it might be. It's fixing to be going down right there. <laughs> uh, like right now. Wow. Wow. Oh, gosh, that was barely. Yours doesn't turn very often like that, but mine will get like this. Oh, I see. Where it'll Where get catch the, itself? Yeah, it'll catch the line, will catch the... It doesn't happen very much on a pop perch. A little bit. feel good about my chances right there. Oh, I do too. Wow. We still good? Yeah? Okay. I'm gonna keep creeping. Z, you ready to Question it up, Ronnie. Lock and load for our. Kyler, hour what's his work. name? Kyler Murray. Is that the one you're mad at? No, I'm not mad at him. Okay, I'm just mad at us. Well, you it sounded a little personal last night when Clark and I were sitting on the couch. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Hey, we've got one from Zona. I got I get from your Facebook page okay. from Danny Glover. Absolutely. You know Die Hard. Yes, sir. Or not Die Hard. Uh, lethal Weapon. Lethal Weapon. Lethal Weapon. I don't know if that's really him or not, but he says, how long have you been studying martial arts and do you think it helps you in your fishing? Wow, that's interesting. Um, number one, my my life, you know, uh, before I had, when I had the hip, look at that one that was following. Are you kidding me? <gasps> oh, oh, no, no way. He just he grabbed the tail, he just <laughs> grabbed the tail. He did, he only got the tail. <laughs> did you see that? Did you see that? Tom, did you get that? He was just, we, we just were looking at it. I think he just bit my trolling motor. He just ate my trolling motor. You know, before I had, you know, the, the whole hip replacement thing. Just two weeks ago. Just, no, I, no, I went to weigh in, had hip, look at that one right there. Big in. Just out in the middle, tap it in. Clark, while you keep that honest, let me do something. 
Just let me do something. Whoa, Just because Ronnie likes it when I do this. Oh! It's the best looking flat we've seen for that. You know what? 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 Did he come? Was he coming? Was he coming on my bike? On your oh, really? <laughs> Just tap it in. A tap giant, it in. Was it really? A giant. For the concerned folks at home and maybe in the truck, we will still pick winners for the prizes, even if we don't answer any questions. We will not <laughs> answer a single question. Was it big, Wes? Yes. I didn't, wow. I didn't see. I was picking up another bite, so. Wow. Yeah, he was You're not allowed to bring anybody with ADD here, because they'll just be like, look at there, look at there. That's right. Look at there. Yeah, wah! <laughs> wah! <laughs> Some martial arts. Yeah, I, it's just, I, you know, I just can't as much. I, I went to the weigh-in. I had hip replacement surgery, went home, put in a dock, and, and I did not have hip replacement surgery. That was a total. Uh, but the, the I, I was, it wasn't martial arts. I was being serious. It was jujitsu. what I was into. Okay. Yeah. Kind of that Liu Kang kind of deal. Man, I cannot believe... Like that stuns me right there, man. There's all kinds of. Are we of sketchy? I have no phone service, so I cannot get middle. So Z, are, are, we are we still good? Can you yeah, hear them? I oh. haven't heard anything negative. Okay. So, uh, let me find his name. Yeah. Jeff Almanza wants to know: Do you have a caffeine shed on or a buzz bait, like something? You know, I know that Magnum Cutterworm is your follow-up, but why wouldn't maybe a single swim bait? You know, a absolutely. Rage I mean, we do. I mean, I got a, I got a, a, a Rage swimmer on a on a Trocar swim bait hook. It's just that they they seem to before we went live, they seem to have re, they reacted to that swimming worm better than anything. You know, as as a follow-up gig. But but here's the thing: a lot of times. Your follow-up bait is kind of whatever you want it to be, as long as you can fish it slow. Yeah, it's something that's got to fall yeah. down in there, kind of subtly, and and hopefully get a bite that you know the fish is obviously sitting there. I like your odds way up there. Yeah, I see. Mark, this one's for you. Let's Michael Strantz from Bassmasters Facebook wanted to know uh, that you mentioned getting two. You've gotten you've gotten multiple now. At the time he asked this question, it might have been two hits, but maybe five today, where you've been working a frog look over at Z, yeah. and then you get a blow-up. Agree with that. Who said that? Michael Strahan? Strantz. Michael Strantz. Give Michael something. That's a great point. It is. So does that tell you, obviously, this place, you're going to get plenty of chances Hold to on, set Ronnie, the Hold on, Ronnie. Something bad might happen. Something real bad could happen right other here. places, does that signal you need to slow down, maybe? That's yeah. It's, it's hard to do here. Oh, for well, sure. I, oh, blue double. Whoa. Oh, my God. Whoa. Big one. Michael Strantz. <laughs> Tell Michael, just hang on for a Hang on, Michael. Yours was at the boat, Z. I watched him. Is it a big one? That's pretty big. Yeah, that is, that is a big one. Let's just grab, uh, we'll keep him for the last one for a pick. I'm not sure he's worthy, but. You knew when you casted that that was going to happen. I had a good chance. Give it up, man. Because there's a sand spot about that big sitting right there. And there have been some on beds, so wow, look at that. Wow, that was that's too that awesome. That was let's lay let's just keep him for a picture. Keep him we'll, for a picture, all right. We got four now, so we're good. That hold on, Ronnie. Hold yep. up, hold up, hold up. Yep. Something real sassy's fixing to happen. All right, hey. Michael Strantz. Yeah, Ronnie, I want to get back to that question because the thing Oh <laughs> I mean you see that, Wes? Yep. Michael Strantz. Question of the day. Yeah, that's something I would absolutely pay attention to. And I did <laughs> notice it earlier. I did too. The problem is it's slowing down here. Yeah, because we know we can go and get another bite. But yeah, I think there is absolutely something to it. And if you, I mean, watching for those kind of trends when you're fishing and when you're trying to pattern fish is, is critical. And I, I think it you you could catch them that way for sure. Yeah, and I guarantee you some of the areas that we went through, all seriousness, later today, we'll go back through there and just slow down, and we'll probably end up catching them better because we've settled down a little bit. 
But we're, well, we're not doing too bad. No, I mean, it's all good. Did you catch, did you catch the fish on that yeah, spot? On that one, I did. Like halfway back? That was on a thunder cricket. Yeah. That's the one I caught one on. Oh, no, I hadn't thrown it that. Somebody asked this question. We're obviously in Arkansas. Um, where are the studio? At? Oh, never mind. God. That's just wrong. I mean, I mean, when you can visually tell where you're going to get a bite every time, just about, that's amazing. What is it? Giant claw. Oh, I love that. How about that. Look at this way. We need a Giant steal of that. Get, get, hey, get, get him on that. I love claws. Huge claw. I mean, that's from a, an absolute lobster. <laughs> it truly is. Oh, yeah. And the best thing is he's still eating a half pound bait. Ooh. I'm gonna go with Michael Krantz. Is it Michael Krantz? Hey, we might have lost your mic. We might have right. lost your mic. Okay, we're gonna take a little time out. Be back in a minute. Be back in a minute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do we still have good service here? Or yes. no? Sorry, we are in a cluster mode. Nah, I love the claw, man. I mean, the claw is like, that's the coolest thing you can see in a fish. In that thing. No, I don't. I don't know. No, I don't think he. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> it's like it's flipping me the bird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, every... Ooh. Man. Ooh. 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 Yeah, they're there. Woo! Oh my god. That was a shark. Hi there. Hi there. Oh, ay, ay, ay. They're getting on them stumps. They're getting on them stumps. They're, they're brothers. They really are. <laughs> well, I... Oh. Whoa, whoa. You knew when you casted that that was gonna happen. Give it up, man. There's a sand spot about that big. That's just wrong. I mean, I mean, when you can visually tell where you're gonna get a bite every time, just about, that's amazing. Just in the grass. You know, it's funny is is in Ronnie's pre zone alive story is is and this is all seriousness. You know, Clark fished FLW, and I used to fish against Clark a bunch back when we were little dudes. Our kids were barely born, if not not born yet. And I this is no joke. I used to leave. I used to leave notes on his truck every now and then at tournaments. That uh, like we were very competitive against each other. <laughs> I don't really know why we were, other than the fact that we just wanted to win. But <laughs> like it was brutal. Like you're one of the 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 best small. I think it got under your skin that you're like small. I'd come up in, in the smallmouth country. Maybe not. I always love catching smallmouth just because they're so aggressive. I'm a little bit like Van Damme in that I just like covering water and that, those smallmouth set up well for that. That's a long time ago. Something, yeah. 
Ronnie, I, yeah, that's a Tronos right there. Ronnie, I don't even think you were born back then. No, he wasn't. What year? Oh, man, it was in the 90s. Completely in the 90s. Well, I'm a 90s baby, so maybe. No, I mean, hold on, Z. We're talking about so long ago that when we would, when we would mark something out on St. Clair, we'd see a tower yep. in the distance, a buoy 400 miles that way, yep. and something this way, and we'd triangulate the whole thing. That's the only way we could find our way back. Hey, this is no joke. When him and I fished against each other, this is factual, what I'm going to say right here. Hey! Hey! Oh, no! Dude! <laughs> like Dude. <a> bullet. <laughs> What just happened? Oh, that was amazing. Gosh, Ooh. yikes. God, that was a bite. I, I can't answer anything right now. That, that's a big one. That's a good one. That's a big one. Cool Ooh, that is a big one. You need my help? You yeah. got him. No, I got him. That was an awesome bite. It was. <laughs> Were you on it? Yeah. My God. Oh, that's amazing. He was so fast. Oh, oh that's a chunker. That's a big one, man. God. Yeah, we might we might want to hang on to that for a pick. Seriously. That's a big one. Kick one of those other ones. God. Yeah. Ronnie, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> oh, my God. Goodness. I saw him go through it. I just saw a big that's something black there. Big but black. That's not him. Oh no, no. He went right. Gosh. It was nasty looking. What were we talking about? St. Clair. Triangulation. Oh, this is no joke. When Clark and I used to fish against each other. Ronnie, a GPS was just a plotter. It was a pig trail. Okay, there's no lake master mapping. There's no, there's no lake circle. It was Clark and we, and there's other dudes watching this right now that remember, it was just a, a squiggly line. What? Oh, I didn't get it. Hold back for a minute, Ronnie. That's a real good bank. <laughs> you see the one bite it right next to the boat? Yeah, well, I wasn't blade. looking when he came up. But it I bit a blade off of the trolling motor. Yeah. Like my eyes. In the truck. No. I cannot, I seriously, I can't, I can't, I'm out of breath. Yeah, gosh, I got over that little deal. There we go. Oh, my frog's all messed up. This messed up. Yeah, just Ooh! Frogger? Yeah. He just came back. Came Ooh! Wow. Tom, did you see that bite? It <laughs> just went. Oh, no. I want to use barely pinned. Yeah, he is. Just full. I mean, a hump back. Melon that is a melon cod. Just perfect. You know what? I'd like to ask our viewers that have hung with us today through this mess and a melee, what smallmouth place would they like to see us go do, try to do a live? Problem with the smallmouth place alive is rough water. And service. Yeah, and service, but if there's, if there's any requests, we'll go do it. Look at that poor thing. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Then we can always blame them if it doesn't go well. Exactly. Ah. 
Tom, I saw Tom turn his camera when I made that cast, and he come up and just went like, just like a bluegill. He went. I, I, I mean, wow, wow, wow. Gosh, that's just crazy. Another big one. That is testimony if you manage a place right, man. Man, this is... But, I mean, we've been to a lot of places, Z, that have been managed right, and I, I can't ever remember seeing one like this. Uh -uh. This is... There's just so many big ones. It's like I, I'm bracing myself every cast, and if I make a fairly good cast, I'm really, like, <laughs> getting, getting my legs apart and get, trying to get ready to jerk because that's how bad it is. You know it's going to happen. <laughs> like every time it comes off the bank i'm like oh no oh no 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 um, it's not good it's not like a secret spot out in the middle it's like you could walk the bank and catch oh you off. could you could definitely walk the bank best place i ever seen no doubt. I think I see a bed right outside of that tire. E. Right. How about that thunder cricket bite? Ah. Ah. That one that came to the boat dang submarine torpedo. Ah. Michael Chance, is that what it was? Yeah, Stra it's the Stance. Stance. Michael Strahan? Strance. 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 Hey, Strance. Can you set up some uh, replay action? So, real quick, we're going to go through, run through some of the fish catches from this morning. And, uh, well, I, I, you don't even need to talk over everything you're going to see right here. Back in a minute, Zone Look alive. at this one below my. Look at it. Look at sure. him below it. Oh! Hey, where's some follow-up bait on that one? He's still sitting right here, there. Right here, right here, right here. It's right, he's right by that stick. I can't believe that fish didn't bite right there. He, he was right on me. Oh, wow. Wow. And still is. And still is. Look out now. Ow. No, I don't. I don't know. No, I don't think he. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's flipping me the bird. Right? He ate every. Ooh. Oh. 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 Yeah, they're there. Woo! Oh my God! That was a what shark. Hi there. Hi there. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. They're getting on them stumps. They're getting on them stumps. They're they're brothers. They really are. God, that's just wrong. Crazy. Gosh. Yikes! I mean a hump back. Ronnie, don't move, don't move, don't move. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Well, I... Whoa, whoa. You knew when you casted that that was gonna happen. Give it up, man! Zona Live is brought to you by... 
Seagar. Boat US. TH Marine. And by Bass Mafia. When your hands are busy, your mind gets right. When your hands are busy, you can't point fingers and complain that life isn't fair. When your hands are busy, you're serving your family, your friends, and your community. When your hands are busy, you show everyone what you're capable of. The all new Ram 1500, Motor Trend's 2019 Truck of the Year. At Mercury, there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either. Unlimited adrenaline. Unlimited fun. Unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. Introducing the all-new V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. For the love of mud, gravel, and trail dust. For the love of farm roads, dirt roads, and no roads. For the love of hunting, fishing, and working the land. For the love of conservation, preservation, and restoration. Introducing Tracker Off-Road Vehicles, designed and built on American soil for kicking up American soil. Tracker Off-Road, built for love of country. Pick up the Daiwa Tatula LT Spinning Reel. For its incredible toughness, uh -oh. yes. For its aircraft great gears and high speed retrieve, sure. But seriously, wow. pick it up and feel just how light it is. And the Daiwa Tatula SV Baitcast Reels, multiple gear ratios, and the SV Spool will show you what long controlled You're casting open. really is. Match them up with Tatula Elite Rods and you'll hold perfection in your hands. Blue Water by TH Marine. Offering LED lighting solutions for your boat, trailer, truck, ATV, and so much more. Engineered and built to be rugged with waterproof and submersible options. Designed for easy installation, Blue Water is available in a variety of colors and styles. All backed by a limited lifetime warranty. Blue Water by TH Marine. They sleep over there, head this way to the job site, and the big ones take their lunch break right about now. The Solix series, with our most powerful innovations from Mega Imaging Plus to Cross Touch to Auto Chart Live on our largest screen ever. Fish might call it an invasion of privacy, you'll call it a busy day for your live well. Only from Hummingbird. with a geometric triangular point to penetrate faster and easier. Oh my goodness. Surgically sharpened, resulting in a hook that penetrates twice as fast and dramatically improves strike to hook up ratios. Make it. Made in the USA. Get open the most extraordinary fish hook ever made. Trocar.
Hi, I'm Mark Zona. What? I'm Mark Zona. Well, I need a performance braid for finesse presentations. And I need a performance braid for power fishing. Seaguar Smackdown High Viz Flash Green lets me see line movement for those subtle bites. Smackdown Low Viz Stealth Gray blends in to make my presentations more natural. Both are eight strands and a perfectly round weave. And for me, it's the longest casting and quietest braid on the planet. Smackdown Braid from Seaguar, always the best. Fun time, good times, your time. There is nothing better than a day on the water. That is, until the unexpected happens. Nothing sinks a good time faster than a dead battery. Nothing turns a carefree morning into a stressful afternoon like an overheated engine. Why let your good day turn into a bad day when you can count on Boat US? With the nation's largest network of towboat US towers, we're here to assist you 24 hours a day. Boat US makes sure all your boating time is a great time. You're watching Zona Live, presented by Trocar, absolutely After the, the world's shark sharpest fish It was what real one? shallow and calm water. We could see the whole thing. Yes. That was amazing. Yes. Here we go. Last hour of Zona Live, presented by Trocar. Number one, thanks for everybody that is, Ron, you made the comment, as many questions today as we've ever had. A lot. <laughs> All fun, pop and sizzle. Oh, fish. I got a swim bait bite. Indeed you did. Yes, I did. Go ahead, take it. I throw that a little bit more. You know, Ronnie, you asked a question before. Oh, that is a nice one. Wow. Catch me a swimmer fish, Z. I caught you a swimmer fish. There we go. I, uh, somebody at, was asking about, look at that fish. Somebody was asking about follow-up baits. I'm gonna tell you one of, the, one of the nastiest baits that I throw. We've taped a bunch of shows with a Rage Swimmer. That's on a Trocar swim bait hook. But to me, that bait right there is so subtle, yet catches giants and comes through anything. It's an amazing bait, really, because you can fish it in nearly any situation. Right. Oh my gosh. Oh. They're biting it. I mean, it's fixing to go. <laughs> okay. I might save that till later. Might save it till later. I'll just go to this timber out here. Yeah. I'm going to get Holy. where Clark can bomb. Z, I got I to gotta get, get me a new dust. frog. Do you? Which compartment am I in? Uh, the whole box is right down there on the floor. Oh, yeah. Okay. Better out here, Wes? Just know the closer we get to that yep, corner. Yep. Got it, got it, got it. Sorry about the service, gang. Can't get near that tree line. That's where we're headed. Where we're headed. Clark and I had a couple, before we went live, we had a couple bites on the, out in the middle ground. We'll check a little bit of that, keep it honest, you know. What's that? Okay, yep. Hold up, Ron. That was so incredible. I can't even look at you with a straight face right now. <laughs> That's how good I came across is. that bright spot, and there's just black shadow. Okay, I'm going to show you how I'm rigging this because we're going to end up shooting a lot of the Zona show with this later today, the regular show. That was this one he let go? Oh, it was? Yeah. So, all you do on this, I'm going to retie that first. Hold on. 
Wow. But this is a bait right now up at up in Michigan. We're in catch and release season. This is a bait the way that I'm rigging it that really catches big ones before they get to their to their spawning areas to lock on. Huh? Yeah. How about old boy staying up all night last night watching the yeah. hockey game? And lost. That was impressive, though. Shut down the house. <laughs> no! <laughs> that just sounded phenomenal. <laughs> it was phenomenal. Just sounded ah. phenomenal. Gosh, and he's not that big, but he yeah, sounded he's like really a. Not. Okay, so yeah. all I'm gonna do. It did sound good though. It really did. But I bet I can catch another one. Yes. Just screw it right in the nose. And I almost always, when I'm in more open water, almost always use 17 or 20 fluorocarbon. I use a Braze X. I use Brazex almost on everything from Seaguar. It, uh, that's the whole rig right there. And I actually throw it, I throw it on a frog rod just because it has a lot of backbone. Whoa, look at that. I missed it too. Something bad's fixing to happen. Yet. No, I hadn't thrown on it. Gosh. Wow. Guess that surprises me. I know. Bright spots. I hear you, Ronnie. Woo, that went a big one. That's the one you caught the bit. Well, He's I don't right know if it's the same fish, but. Two of them right there. Where's that? Remember last year we saw some on bed in Michigan? How excited me and Wes were. Did he get it? No. It's like a, I mean, it was like it, it a just, bull that big. Yeah. Throw hold back up. through there. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You made stop it? I don't want to click Let's it. See. Gosh, it was a big one, man. Wow. That's awesome. That is awesome. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Just silence to violence. <laughs> yeah, I'd say. Clark, well done. Oh, I don't know if that was the same fish. I kind of have a feeling it wasn't. Oh, that's phenomenal. You had just missed one in that same spot, but yeah. I don't know if that was the same fish or not. Let me just hold this right here a second. Now that it's all coming back, Wesley, we caught a bunch out here the last, yeah, we did, didn't we? Yeah, 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 yep. Yeah.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to keep us out for a while just because we're going to utilize the bank later tonight. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. We're, we're doing fine. <laughs> it's not like we're having a... I mean, I literally think you could just tell me where to pitch every time you see one, and I could just do this right. and catch plenty. Gosh, dog. Look at that one. Look at them. There's two of them, two good ones right there. They're just in the sag. Yeah, they're just in those yeah. big, giant holes. Remember that. Got it. Let me try one right down this rope real quick, Ronnie. Yes, sir. Oh, it's getting to be one of those just perfect days now. Yeah, it is. Really is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this has been a frogging, worming, swim baiting beat down. Oh. Good one? I think so. Are any of them bad? <laughs> So great. I'm gonna let mine go. Did you hear that bite in the swim bait? He slurped it on top? Yeah. Burning it. Oh, did he really? Yeah. No, that's fun. Try to get that to happen again. It's just like they're, I mean, you know, I know it's been good all day, but right now. It's starting. It's like every fish is like. Mad. Bat, like <laughs> really upset. mad. Yeah. Really disappointed. You notice some of these fish, though, out in the middle are popping up on top. I mean, there was a lot that weren't on here earlier. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like right there. That's a guarantee. Oh, wow. Insane. Bet you we're gonna get a nibble on that outer deal now. I'm gonna bomb one, Ronnie. Good. You know what, I'm feeling pretty one dimensional right now, but you know what, it's okay. Just stay with it. <laughs> uh, I, what's interesting is I know every time you've got one. <laughs> every time. I truly do. Mr. Pat has done an incredible job, no doubt. Oop. Wow, that surprises me. That one was glowing. Ronnie, hold back just a hair when we get to this outer one, okay? I, I might pitch on that. Can I do that? Can I pitch? Yeah, heck yeah. I might pitch heck on yeah. it like two or three times. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. 
I mean, I see just about as many out just cruising yes. in the open grass yes. as I do. Oh, look at here. Oh, gosh. Whoa. Disaster. <laughs> He's, he's in the trolling motor now. Is he's he? double wrapped around it already. Is he really? Yeah. Because he went inside when... No, I got him out of the thing. Hold that. Hold on. <laughs> you took care of me, didn't you? <laughs> I mean a good one, too. I was thinking if you let him go, I could maybe throw out and catch another one, but... <laughs> I don't mind letting him go. Golly, that's got a cold. That's got a cold. <laughs> it doesn't those. matter. It's a fat one. Golly. That's, that is a Unreal. fat one. Unreal. Wow. They're just so mad. Wow. Got her on top of that bright spot. See it? Uh -huh. Wow. Out of breath after every one of them. Me? I am. Well, I know I, I am. That one. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I'm talking about. I feel one dimensional, so I went to a bug. East Arkansas State. <laughs> you. Right really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Copy that. How much gonna keep us moving, Ron? Well, he's trying to swing in a Hey, don't worry about Maisie. Wow. Ugh. Wow. Big and two. Gosh. I'm gonna get us up in here. Look how fat he is. Okay. Okay. I mean, there it comes. Stood. Did we catch like 10 there last time, Wes? I thought we caught a bunch there the last time we were here. Okay. Better over here. Okay. Okay. No, hey, Ronnie's happy. It's all that counts. It's what matters. Not, not, it's there. Getting better. Okay. We hadn't fished this year. Oh, we did we fish fished there. Just Oh, that's so great. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He was shallow, wasn't he? Okay. Man, I'm out in the... Okay. Really? Okay. That just sounded. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I kind of have a feeling it wasn't. Oh my gosh! This has been a frogging, worming, swim baiting. Oh my little mouth. Oh! Oh! I think so. No, I'm, 
Yeah. So great. Yeah, we yeah. saw him right before live started. We went over to the dock. Oh, dock, double picture. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, look at here. Oh, gosh. Whoa, disaster. Oh, you lost him. Is he? Is he really? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. And still is. And still is. Look out now. I'm pounding that dog. No, I don't. I don't know. No. I don't think you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's flipping me the bird. <laughs> like a bunch of them. Oh, it's such they, they all, it's, it's like, how many of those have we had? I think they are biting this better. I, I totally agree. Hey, John Nevis. Hey, John yeah. Nevis or John Neves. I don't know which one it is, Nevis or Neves. He said he cannot wait for this full archive to go up on YouTube to watch it Christmas morning. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly right. I mean, that's what it feels like. But I'm tired. I'm tireder than I am Christmas morning, yes. probably. Clark, we got a question, Clark, from, we got a question from Rusty Harper. Hey, Rusty. He is an avid bass, an avid bass live watcher. Oh my gosh! He says, <laughs> "Awesome." Catch this fish real quick. No, I'm good. I can answer it. Give it to me. He said, uh, "What was the toughest challenge with the Winya Bay event?" And in hindsight, what would you? No, maybe that's a do good differently? question. You know, Winya Bay is a place that I've never seen before, and. I didn't get to go pre-practice, um, so I, you know. So that was the first time you were there? That's the first time I've ever been there. Wow. And so, you know, I, I actually uh, found some fish in practice in the Santee River, and and then it flooded out, and you couldn't have predicted that it was going to flood out. I don't know how you would have known. Um, and then... So that was kind of what the really all I found, and so I ended up going to the Cooper River more or less just blind and, and, you know, I mean, I caught a lot of fish, but I just didn't catch any big ones. If I had to do it over again, I would quit trying to reinvent the wheel, and trying go. to make and it worm work close. I'd practice all three days in the Cooper River. And, and go. I, and, and, because that's the best fishery there, and I'd just go. I didn't want to run 110 miles, so I tried to make it where I didn't have to. And it was the wrong move. Right. Along the same lines of Along that, we, in, lines studio of that, we talked in studio about talked about the okay. dynamic of guys catching fish while y'all yeah. were running yeah. back. And that, you know, even though a lot of other decisions factor into the win that Stetson had, but when Scott Canterbury was running back, he catches yeah. a pound and a half or that wins the event by half a pound. You know, that, that's the hard thing running through y'all's mind when you're running back, knowing that you're Absolutely. giving up maybe an hour and a half well, to two hours. You look at it that way, but the thing about it is, I practiced um, in those rivers, and I just didn't find enough. And so, you know, whether I hit it at the wrong timing or just didn't figure out what was going on, I don't know. But I would go to the Cooper River because I know for four hours I'm going to catch them. I'm going to catch them for four hours. I may lose when I'm running back, but I'm going to catch them. So that's did you catch did. good numbers? I caught tons of fish. Yeah, huh. just no big ones. Z, yes. Z, what's her name? Buster. Lunker Buster. Oh, Lunker Lunker Buster. Buster. Says you guys should do a, show, should do a show on Silver Lake, up near Traverse, up near Traverse City. Lake. I'll follow you around in my 10-foot bass, bass Raider. Silver Lake. I'm going to say we've done a couple of zone shows real close to Silver Lake, if you know <laughs> what I mean. But... Here's one. Uh, Here's Arkansas one. Uh, one. Arkansas is one of the places that's had multiple classics. I know Pine Bluff, Rick Clunn's, you know, iconic classic win. 
said if you had to pick a place, obviously we're here now, and this isn't a classic <laughs> possible venue. It would be awesome. It's a classic spot, though. <laughs> it's a classic spot, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but live to uh, fish. But live to fish. Three sixty five says if you had to pick another lake to host a classic, you know, in that early March period that we do it in, what other place in Arkansas would you have it on? I, I, it, well, it's part Arkansas, but I'm going to tell you, I think Table Rock would be an incredible classic. Yeah, Table Rock, Bull Shoal, somewhere up there in those arcs, I think would be that crank unbelievable. Yep. Those fish bite pre-spawn really good there, yep. and it, it would just be, I think it would be a really dynamic, fun tournament. Smallest one. You get you plenty of Thunder Cricket bites. Dardanelle. Look at that little fella. I like something big that has, you know, that's sprawling that you can catch them a lot of different ways. Right. At Table Rock, you know, there'd be guys fishing out, there'd be guys fishing yep. in, uh, they'd be going up the rivers, there'd be, you know, that yeah, would be a strategy tournament. It would be. That would really. That could happen right there. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> what did he say? I didn't even move that it. Was... I, did, I did not, that, that I did not even right move there. the bait. I said it could happen that... and kaboom. That's not even right. I didn't even move that it. That could happen right there. <laughs> that's sick. That is sick. Well, we had a lot of we had a lot of folks that watched that show last year, Ronnie. A lot of folks that said, "Please do a frog show there," and we thought about it all winter. They got it today. It has been a frog fiesta. My mic audio is so delayed, so just... Yes, sir. No, that's fine. <laughs> have you thrown at this one? Yeah. That's where I caught that little dude. Oh, okay. Well, that's not any fun. <laughs> We have not made a cast on that yet today. Look at all the food! You ready? You do I'll it. Go, you I'll catch them. I mean, I've caught too many of them. You're fine, dude. I'm, I'm feeling I'm good. feeling pretty guilty. All right, how about I'm, I'm going to just see if I can not move it again. Do it. Or how about one twitch? That's, that's not right. Wow. That surprises me right there. Cell service good right here, Wes? Where to end this thing? We have not fished out here in the middle. Oh my gosh, look at that thing dance. I mean. I think you gotta end it on the top. You think? I'm not scared to head that way real quick. Watch this. <laughs> hey, hold my cold one. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see it, Rod? All right, Jay, I got a question. Yes, Clark sir. Wendland from Texas. Yeah, Clark from Texas. Clark from Texas asks, which tournament are you looking forward to watching the rest of the year uh, on the Elite Series? See one? Yeah. Oh, I think that, in all honesty, I think that I, I think the uh, St. Clair Angler of the Year is going to be un- Believable. I'm really looking forward to that. That is going to be, and you know what's weird about that tournament? Well, I can't. It, it's just going to. You it, can't say anything. It'll, it, 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 it's going to be really good. It's going to be fun. Really, really good. Like as good. Hold up, Ronnie. We're going to start easing back towards the boat dock to regroup for. Yeah, I think that'll be a great one. I think the uh, I think the Cayuga one will be real. One, two. Oh, here he comes. 
What? He was so mad. He was so, so upset. That fish come from like 30 yards away as oh. fast as he can there's, get to it. There's one under my boat right now. Oh, he is. He is. I mean, sassy. he's a one pitcher for sure, but we'll save him. Yeah. Let me just say though, because I mean, he might, I might dance it on him and just. <laughs> you never know. You know, yeah, I mean, you just never know. He's glowing right now because yep. he just doesn't like the situation yep. too yep. much. <laughs> here's, a, here's another one right here. Wow. That one's looking pretty. Ready, Wes? Service good? Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Huh? Hello. Oh, hi, peekaboo. <laughs> What's that, Wes? Okay. I'm going to kind of keep her on. How much time we got left, Ronnie? 20 minutes. Yep. Let's just kind of keep her. That's the one you cut too on our yeah. time. Now, I'm just going to fire some. Yeah. Matt Russell wants to know, what do we have to do to get a zone alive once a week? Uh, maybe, well, we maybe gotta bi-weekly. Um, well, that, yeah, that's a good that's a real good What question. was his name? Matt Russell. Matt Russell. Um, you know, Matt, I, and, and, and I agree, uh, we'd love to do that, but the, the Elite Series, the Elite Series, Zona Show, and hosting the Bass Pros, it just takes a lot more time than I would. Than you have. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Scared the fire out of me. Did you see that? That was awesome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Tarpon. Watch this, Will. Huh. You remember that one right there? Yes, sir. It's the one I keep saying was the coolest bite we've had. That but, one right there? Yeah, it's to the right though. The, not the main one, it's to the right. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, it was a big one. Yeah, I, I hate to say it, but you're a little short. That scared me. Oh, was I short? Oh, I thought you meant the one a little. That was a big one. That fish was full. Wow. That was just, that was violence. <laughs> it was. Oh my gosh. Uh, but we're gonna try to do, you know, we, I, right now it calls for, we can, we're able to do four zone of lives a year, barely, with time. Uh, but that you never know, that could shift a little. Z, we got a bonus question. Let's do it. From the Michael truck. Michael Krantz? From the truck. Yeah. Wanted to know, what are your, you know, your thoughts of Easter? Is it a sticking point for you with just how many eggs are out and about? Just. Oh, 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 oh. He humped it. Oh, yes, he did. God, that's a good one. That's a, that's a nice one. one. That is. Uh, you know, I love Easter because, you know, being a religious holiday and I'm a, very Catholic person, it, uh, it, uh, but you're right. The, the whole egg thing, the whole egg thing does. Wait, you see that fish hump it? That fish was full of fire. Slunch. But everybody loves Easter. I want to see your slaunch dance. We got to huh. see it at some point. What's it got to take on this fisher? That's when we tape a Zona show out here later today. <laughs> Uh-oh, oh. get him. My gosh. That was unbelievable. That was unbelievable. I saw, saw him come up there and just slurp it. Oh my gosh, it's one of those fat ones. So Ronnie, for everybody, well done, Clark. Well done. For Ronnie, for everybody that's that, that does win, we're gonna, wow. That's a chunker. We're gonna send exactly what we used today, okay? We're gonna send some 
Pad perch. Pad, 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 pad perch, perch popping perch, swimming worm, Trocar Pro V hooks, Trocar swim bait hooks. I'm gonna send some Seaguar braid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take whatever I can from Clark and send it to him too. <laughs> take it all. Here's a question from Jonathan Cuppet. This is so stupid. <laughs> from Jonathan Cuppet saying he's trying to step up his finesse game. Uh-huh. Just can't seem to put down the bait caster for a spinning rod. He doesn't know exactly when the best time is to get confidence in light line or light tackle. Well, you know, in all honesty, I mean, I grew up, and Clark knows this, I grew up with a spinning rod. That's, you know, you live in, you live in the Midwest. You kind of, you cut your teeth with a spinning rod. The main thing to me right now with any finesse stuff is is use start with start with braid to a fluorocarbon leader Just, it, it makes it more sensitive your hook sets are better you won't break off as much and you're just going to get more confidence in it but the other thing is with 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 braid on a spinning rod or on a spinning reel in all honesty it it makes you a better fisherman your hook sets are better you feel everything better that's what i would recommend I would 100% agree with that. It, it, it just makes everything better. Um, I still use a lot of straight fluorocarbon when I'm fishing a tube and stuff like that, but Bray just, it, it has changed the entire ball game for finesse fishing. The other thing is, just go out and do it. Don't, don't bring your, if you want to learn it, go out. Look at that bright spot right there. I never saw that one. <laughs> Shoot, it's won $200,000 in the last two elite events. Right. Right. That's just for the top guy. You know, what was funny was we taped, Wes and I, and, and Eric, EK, Davey was there, and we were with uh, young Patrick Walters a couple weeks ago on Santee Cooper, where notoriously you think big line, big baits, blah, 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 exponentially the best stuff. Well, not the first day. I mean, Davey done kicked my teeth in with a mop jig, boy. Um, but the majority of the week, it was a it was a finesse deal around heavy cover. You're fishing cypress trees, and all you do is just back your drag off. When you hook one, you just follow them. Just follow them. Steve from Boston. This is a kind of unique question. I don't know how in depth y'all can get, but Steve, I guarantee you, Steve's a Patriots fan. Steve from Boston wants to know what was your Z. Specifically, what was your first ever paying job in the fishing industry? And then I want to take one further. Maybe what was your first ever paycheck in the fishing industry, whether it's a sponsor, first paying sponsor, or whatever? Uh, first ever job. I don't, first ever job, man. I sold boats. No, before I sold boats, I sold tackle. I was a tackle, I was a tackle rep uh, throughout the Midwest. And then I went to selling boats. But my first sponsor ever that that uh, I'll say as far as the so show, Zona show, was PowerPole. Robert from PowerPole uh, gave me a shot and then the, the you know, it, it all fell in line. I, 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 I got lucky and signed with Strike King and Bass Pro and things happened quickly. It was, uh, I was lucky. Clark? Well, I've, I've never yeah, had right they're them stood right there. I, I've never had any kind of job. I've just always been a tournament fisherman. So, and I, I mean, it is work, but it's pretty nice work. So, um, and my very first sponsor I probably ever had um, was a small jig company called Bulldog Lures. They're not even around anymore, but you know, they they believed in me, and and uh, you know, it's all about developing those relationships. If you can develop relationships with with good company. Um, and, and then you have success and represent them well, then, then things can escalate and you can do well, so. You know, what's, what's interesting about the question you asked, I, I spoke to a bunch of college kids last, last week that were interested, I mean another dead gum stud. Um, and, and one of the things that, you know, I, I told them, it, it's not about, you know, hey, I'm a good fisherman. Oh, look, I caught 23 pounds for five. I'm awesome. Look, can I get some sponsors? It is not that, man. It is, you, you know, it, you, you it, here's the best way to put it. One, one thing that I'll say to that, and this is one thing 
that I said during that, that seminar, talking to college kids, and it's just not spo sponsors, it's work, it's life. What can you do for them instead of, hey, what can you do for me? You know, I'm good at skipping a jig under docks. You know, it, how, how can you put yourself ahead of, of the guy that you're in competition with? And generally, it's just busting your, your rear end. But that's, that's not sponsors. That's, that's life. That's all the life. I feel Work like hard. something bad's going to happen in this corner. Uh, Clark, good. we've got a question specifically for you. I think this is a good one. John Karbowski wants to know, what's the best piece of fishing advice that you've ever gotten? Maybe it was from a mentor but, or just somebody just told you something that stuck with you ever since. You know, I, I, the, the, what comes to mind, um, I, it was back in the days when I was fishing bass, you know, 20 years ago, and I actually fished a, um, it was on the St. Lawrence River, but it was out of Clayton, New York, so, you know, we could go out in the big ways, and I was- We were against each other. I was scared to death. I mean, let's just get real. We got 18-foot boats, and the waves are like 8 to 10 feet tall. And I'm going out there uh, the first day, and I'd already gotten this advice, but Shaw Grigsby drew uh, Larry Nixon, and they turn around. I mean, when they, I hey, it. hey, when they turn around, you're like, yes. how can I go out there? But Robert Tucker, who is an old bass guy that From fished Texas. years ago, you remember him. Smiling Robert Smiling Tucker. Smiling Robert Tucker uh, told me, he goes, he goes, man, Clark, you just, you just get out there in those big waves and just take your time. Don't let them intimidate you. And that's the whole key in rough water. You gotta take your time. You gotta take it slow. You yeah. can't get in a hurry. Because a lot of times in those, in those kind of events, if you get there, you can really catch them. And, <laughs> That's one of those things that kind of sticks out to me. I'll never forget that. I remember that tournament. I totally remember it. Uh-oh. Yeah, oh, I got a creeper. Let me hold on. I got a creeper. Oh, oh gosh. What? 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 Clark's reeling it in. I got a creeper. <laughs> oh, I mean, he bolted. He bolted. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I, I spied that one. That's an embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. I had to do it. Spawn, I heard a uh, hatch this morning. You know, and, and I'll tell you one other thing that Clark said right there about taking your time in big water. Back when I used to fish a lot of tournaments up, up home, I would all, look at that one, I a stud. Uh, I'd always have people pass me out, out on that big water, Ronnie. Yes. I mean, full speed, just beating their stuff. Boom, boom. Oh. You know what they do when they get to their spot? They start putting things together. That's right. That they broke. Z, I got a good one. Yeah, let's might do be, it. It might be the last one if you want it to be, but from your Facebook page, Andy Fabo, Andy Fabo says, when fishing lakes that have uh, crawfish, Smallmouth will throw them up in the live well. You'll see the pinchers and everything. Yeah. But when you're fishing lakes, then they're feeding up on gobies. Yeah. You never see gobies thrown up in there. But wow. you'll see perch. Or, you know, like, why, do you have any theories on why? That, or have I you don't seen them know. Throw them I, just because maybe they're a squishy little cheese stick that <laughs> they digest quickly. That's a really good point. That is. You know, what's, what's weird, though, is I, I have had in my live well... Um, the place that I have had digested goby is is a lot when I'm in Buffalo. And what's funny is they're just like a cheese stick. They're just, they fall right apart. But that, that's a really good point. You don't see much, you, you see perch and you see alewife. One of the, one of the coolest. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this has been the best zone alive ever. <laughs> the fish was so mad at you. I mean, it's a daggum stud too. Gosh, it is a fat one. <laughs> I mean, they're all fat, but. Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh, you let a little color change. Get over here. Get over here. Wow. My gosh. You may save this one or go ahead and throw it back in. Hey, we'll take okay. a double pick. We'll take a double I'd pick. I'd save that quick. one. Wow. 
Wow. Ta-da. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at that. Hey, I want to tell you something. Yes, sir. Thank you for inviting me on Don't this. This has been pretty fun, I <laughs> promise you. Wow. All right, let's throw it back in there. Okay. Yeah. Special place. I got to do it. I got to give huge, huge thanks. I know there's a lot of traffic on Bassmaster.com with the Open, the college tournament. Huge thanks to everybody at .com, everybody at JM Associates, Middleton, hope you're recovering, Eric Kafka, everybody in the truck, KZ, Karen Zona, Steve Bowman, Gerald Jones, and most of all, our friend, Mr. P, for letting us come and play hooky Heck here today. Yeah. It has been, uh, it is the most incredible place I've ever made a cast. Ever. Get over That's here. The, that may be the biggest one of the day, Z. That might be the, a bigger one. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is a big one. That is a big one. That's a good one. Mm. That last one I ate my tail. Hey, there's one right there. Hold on just a sec. He's trying you see? To yeah. <laughs> that's, that's so great. <laughs> He's eating my tail. Hold wow. on, I, I'm pretty sure I can. I can. Huge thanks, huge thanks to Trocar Hooks. We're gonna send everybody that wins. Oh my gosh, my hands are bleeding. But uh, most of all, everybody that's watched today, we uh, probably do another one in about a month. <laughs> That's 2,300 photos. 2,300 photos, young Ronnie. It's gonna take you. Get him! Get him! It's a little one. Nah, you're not too bad. <laughs> Best lake on earth. Mr. P. I mean, that's a giant right there. That is a giant. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! They're starting to bite. <laughs> I mean, they're starting to bite. They are. They totally, hey, set the power poles down. <laughs> Look at this one. Uh, wow. Uh, whoa. whoa. Uh, it, hey, hang on just a second. You yeah. kind of wrap me. God. Hey, you got it. That was a really good one. No, it was. <laughs> it really was. I, and I'm gonna send that bag right there, Wesley. That bag right there. Uh-uh, get him. Take, make him. That is a dandy. Uh, that whole bag right there, I'm gonna send that whole bag to somebody. That is the, that is the bag of pain. Yeah, everybody in the truck saying you're gonna sh close the show down with eight minutes left. You might catch another 30. Right. Hey, look at my frog. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. <laughs> One fish took the whole tail off of it. Nope. It's still working. It's fixing to go down, too. <laughs> now you got to get in that frog. Look at him underneath. Look at him underneath. Oh, my gosh. Look at them all coming. Oh! Get over here. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's like the best ever right there. Hey, that was awesome. I need uh, knuckles from y'all. Huh? Come on. That's the best ever. I mean, frog bite at like two feet straight down, you just give a little small jerk. Boy, they do not like that bait. Ooh. That is full of fire right there, Wesley. Full of fire. Y'all have legitimately caught seven in three minutes. No, you didn't look at my hand. I feel, I feel like I'm cheating a little bit. No, the next place we're going to is a lot. Uh-uh. That, that's cheating. <laughs> All right, I'll quit. I'll quit. a worm in there. <laughs> I 
Look at ah, that. Ah, it's just a four pounder. It's uh, the next place we're going for Zone Alive. We're uh, gonna be right in between two great lakes we're headed to. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to get Uncle, Uncle Seth to join us. You think I ought to throw this in there one more time? <laughs> But here's okay, what's funny. Here, I, I, I will. You know, here's what's funny. I will for you. We only caught we only caught four coming through here the last time. But we knew they were here. Yeah, there are. Those are bluegill killers. I'm pretty sure that dock was not collapsed earlier. <laughs> you were trying to skip underneath of it. No, the, no, I know. But see, the the, uh, the pontoon pont was this way. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. All right, oh. I, I'm not going to do that again. That's that's cheating. I mean, like, just dynamite going off all day. You feel like if you got under it, it'd be better, but I just, I don't know that it would. All right, I'm going to try the theory, though. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, the, just a day of misbehaving and catching a bunch of big ones. Again, thank you to everybody, Bassmaster.com, JM Associates, Karen Zona at home, Mr. P for letting us hang, Bowman, Gerald Jones, thank you again. See you in about a month. See you. Actually, see you next week at T Texas Fest. Yes. By the way, bud. You see Thanks. Oh, 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 oh. That was phenomenal. That was phenomenal. That was so cool. <laughs> yeah. Did you see how he came up? <laughs> yeah, wow. Oh, that's a big in. <laughs> that's a big in. Wow. Yeah, he got it. I mean, he, he got it good. Ooh. Well, ay, ay, ay. They're getting on them stumps. They're getting on them stumps. They're, they're brothers. They really are. Knew when you casted that that was going to happen. Give it up, man.